Hello friends. Today I thought I would go live and work on this Beauty and the Beast Little Golden Book Junk Journal. Uh, I had a request from a friend and um, she's a little bit in a slump because she's super busy and, and she just got stuff going on. I can't say a slump, just, just wanted, I guess, uh, a little help with getting going and maybe re-motivated on some journals that she's working on. So I thought Beauty and the Beast would be great. Um, let me turn down my radio here. Hold on, guys. I feel like I'm competing against that noise. So anyway, so that's what I thought we'd work on. Now, before we get started, I want to tell you that my friend Pam Van E has excellent tutorials actually running now on... Um, Sorry guys, let me get to my live video. Okay, there I am. All right, now I can see if anybody's on. Uh, anyway, my friend Pam Van E at Pam's Paper Place has excellent tutorials on Little Golden Book junk journals. And she's got a series going right now, which is awesome. So this is my first time doing it. And um, so just know that going in, I'm just jumping in and doing one. And you know, I, I wouldn't say that I'm schooled in little golden books <laughs> and how to make them into junk journals, except for what I've watched Pam do. And she is a master in my personal opinion. Now, speaking of, I watched her video and she removed the golden spine cover. And as you can see, I had a little bit more difficult time than she did. She's a master at it. I have a little tear here, although you can barely see it. I don't think that's going to be a problem. And, but it, it did, it did come off. And, um, what I want to tell you about that was, um, I'm going to probably use this as something later on, but she used a heat gun or a hair dryer, and I used a hair dryer, but it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't really, I don't know. I don't think I had the patience to do it and I didn't do it online because I didn't want to have a hair dryer blasting into the, you know, into the book or into the video, sorry. I'm sorry I'm distracted because I am videoing live and that in and of itself is very distracting. <laughs> so pardon me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into this. I'm going to follow my gut and my intuition, and that's what I'm going to do. And hi, Pam. It is so nice to see you. And hi, Mary Ann. Thank you both for coming in. So this right here, I'm going to point to it. This right here is my computer. So if you see my arm reach over, it's because I'm maybe going to type something in or something like that. So here's our little golden book. I hope I have all the supplies I need. I've got my scissors. I have this glue, which I don't use very frequently when I make um, projects like this. But since I did grab a napkin, I thought I would go ahead and have my glue stick handy in case we want to use this. Let me show you also the other supplies. Obviously we have our little golden book here. And then I grabbed uh, a pink doily that I had spritzed with some, uh, you know, it's pink because I had spritzed it. And then I have this little blue one. The main colors in the book are blue. And actually, let me just give you a little quick peek at what the main colors are. You can see there's a lot of blue in it. There is some red, but also pink. And like I said, we'll just give you a quick flip so you can see what, what we're talking about. There's some purple in here but it's heavy in the blues. As you can see, like on almost every page, there's gonna be blue. And when I think of this story, I think of yellow, but that doesn't come in till towards the end of the story. So we will use yellow, but it'll be, you know, later on in the second signature. So let's move this aside. Let me show you what else I got. Um, Oh, you've been wanting to make one, Pam? That's awesome. Me too. This is my first one, so I'm pretty excited, and I thought it was just time to jump in and do it. I grabbed some music paper. All of this will have to be cut to size. Oh, and you guys, I'm not timing myself today, so feel free to just jump in and jump out. You know, if you're bored, just go find something else to do, and you can pop back in later. I'm not offended. 
All right, so we got some blue paper, and this is just clean paper. Oh, look, I got marker on my finger. Um, I just started this thing and I got marker on my finger. We got some yellow paper and we got some pink paper. And then I have some like goldish coffee dyed. And then I have some silver coffee dyed that I did, silver and pink. And then I have a small uh, music paper. And then this is actually Christmas paper that I coffee dyed. Well, it's, you guys probably saw it if you saw the haul. Um, this was what do they call it? You know, when you write to people, stationary. And then here's another pink one. And this has a little bit of silver on it too. So I thought that could be nice. Now here are the scrapbook papers that I chose. Uh, there are some rich images in the book. So I chose this. Now, just because I chose it doesn't mean I'm going to use it, but I wanted to have it handy. Nice gold one. I think that'll be perfect. This one too. If there's some pages with red, well, hold on before we get to the red, let's get to the pink. So I grabbed this. And I thought if there's some pages with some of the red, this could be kind of neat. Hi, photography. Oh, good. Do you like making these? Well, I've never made one. It's my first one. So, <laughs> but thank you for being here. Even for just, even if you just pop in for a little bit, I'm going to, I'm not timing myself today. So, um, I don't know how long I'll do it for. So feel free to pop in and out. Uh, so anyway, I thought this blue could be nice. And then this. And then this I got in my uh, Once Upon a Time paper craft pack, paper pack, and I thought this was perfect because of the stained glass. And then this one, of course, has Belle on it, and I have two sheets of these that I will probably use. So let's get back to um, the actual book. I removed the cover of the spine so now, um, and actually I pulled the staples out because I didn't really want to do that on camera because it's, you know, it takes a hot minute to do that just because, you know, it's a thick cover and anyway, it's work. So there are two signatures and here they are. So I'm not even going to deal with the cover right now. Um, the brown with the roses is a great page. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I love it. I thought it could be perfect. A lot of people do their covers first, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I do not. I do my covers last, so <laughs> that's just how I roll. I typically do all of my signatures and embellishments, and then I do my cover, and I do that so that I can match my cover to what ends up inside because I create really intuitively and just with my gut and with my heart. Um, I typically jump into things with not much of a plan and that's why I don't like to do my cover first. So um, let's move the second signature over here and let's open this up to the, oh, I just covered up some of my light. There we go. Let's open this up to the center and um, photography. I do not know what your first name is. I apologize for that. But, um, I'm like I said, I'm just going with my gut here. So what I'm going to do is, here's our first signature. Here are the pages. And how many are there? I think there's three. Oh, there's only three. Pfft, that's nothing. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump in and start cutting paper to fit in between these. So, let me see what our color palette is. Well, we have this nice stained glass right here and the purple, so I'm, oh yeah, and here too. Oh yeah, so let's definitely use this one, and you guys can't believe it. Oh, Janet, hi Janet, so nice to formally uh, meet you and get your name. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with this one, but guys, you're not gonna believe it, I left my paper cutter in the other room. So, pardon my absence, I will be right back. I'm back. Okay, I knew as much as I tried to make sure I had everything, I knew I didn't. I knew there was going to be something that I forgot. Hi, Royal G. How are you doing, my girl? I hope you are doing good. I love you too. Oh, hi, Granny Martha. How are you? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, thank you all for just being here. In case you're just popping in and you're not sure what we're doing, we're going to be working on a B 
Beauty and the Beast, uh, where's my camera? There we go, Beauty and the Beast, Little Golden Book, Junk Journal. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so let me cut this to size. And guys, it's so strange doing lives because I can't hear you. And then I get like my nervous factor going on. So if I'm just, you know, sounding odd, that's why. <laughs> It's because like, this is, even though I've done like four of these, um, it's still weird. Hi, CV Classics. Okay, everybody, I wanna introduce you to CV Classics. That is my husband, Carl. And I think it's absolutely hilarious that he realized I was doing a live and decided to uh, be here. <laughs> and probably will only be here for a minute because he could care less about junk journals, right? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Royal G. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this paper to size, and I'm using my page, my book page, as a template. I'll make sure I got it. And that's just what how I do it, you guys. It keeps me, I don't, then I don't have to, like, mark on the paper with a pen or anything like that. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And, oh, Pam says hi to Carl. That's so nice, Pam. He's probably gone already. Oh, there he is. Look at that. <laughs> that is just so funny to me. <laughs> All right, so we got this paper. And since it's plain on the back, and you guys may or may not notice something that's odd about the way. Oh, bless you, Andrew. Andrew's in the room with me, and he's creating as well. And he just sneezed. So, <laughs> excuse you, Andrew. <laughs> so, anyway, as I was saying... Um, I might do things in, a, in an odd order, and it's just the way it is. So we all just have to live with my, you know, the way I do stuff. So we're going to separate this uh, napkin. And usually, you guys, if you watch me, you know that I usually use tape to do it. But um, that's in the other room, and I do not dare get up and leave this space again. So you see, I rubbed glue, and then I just opened these up, and now I'm going to pull them apart. And, oh, Andrew, Miss Maria says, bless you from your sneeze. <laughs> so he's laughing now, Maria. Hi, Maria. <laughs> so, guys, I don't think this has a third layer, but let's check it. Oh, my gosh, look, it did. Look, you guys, look at that. Wow, okay. So my finger's a little sticky, but that's okay. It was worth not having to get up and go get tape. So here we go. I didn't think there was a second layer. So guys, I mentioned um, when Pam and Marianne first came on, feel free to pop in and out if you want to. Don't feel bad about that. I'm not timing myself today. I don't know how long I'll be going. So I just appreciate you being here and for whatever time that, that you can. And that's just so nice. And, um, you know, and hit that like button too, guys. That would be awesome. I would love that so much. Also, I have music playing. Is it... Uh, is it annoying? Let me know if it's annoying. Okay, guys, I will turn it off if it is. And I don't even know if you can hear it, so let me know about that. All right, so when I do my napkins, I do one segment of the page at a time. And that's how I roll. And also, when I use napkins, guys, I don't care about wrinkles. Some people... Um, you know, they, they worry about wrinkles, but I don't, I like the wrinkles actually. I just like to press them down really good and then they add so much character. Thank you, Royal G, for backing me up on the old thumbs up. I appreciate that, girl. I love working with napkins too. I really enjoy it. They add such an amazing impact and they're fun and they're easy and they add kind of a neat feeling. Oh, and you don't hear the music. Okay. Well, when I get a hot second, I will turn it up a little bit. Um, if you guys want that. If you don't, uh, you know, I won't. But maybe if I feel like I have to be quiet and not too talky for a minute, then I'll turn it up. Because, like, um, you know, it's weird. Me talking while I create is kind of odd for me. I usually, obviously when I'm alone creating and making videos, I talk a little bit to you guys, but there's a lot of times when I'm not talking and that's when I just put the video in like fast forward, like when I edit it, but I don't ever edit my lives. So 
Um, whoever watches it back will have to go through the torture of real time <laughs> video watching. <laughs> it's you guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's kind of hard for me to um watch videos in real time. Like, I have to speed them up a lot of times because I have ADHD and my, my brain just processes really quick and. So watching it faster and listening to you guys talk really fast keeps me engaged. So believe it or not, <laughs> that's just how it is for me. So um, Carl's now in the kitchen, so I know he's not watching my live anymore. <laughs> he's sneaking into candy corn. <laughs> so yeah, I agree, um, Royal G, that uh, they do make it more interesting. So... I do like that. All right, so we've almost got the napkin on here. And then, I know I've said this a hundred times to you guys, but um, I like to go over all my stuff with my scissors like this. And some people use bone folders, and I can't because I have carpal tunnel and it's too small of a item for me to hang on to. It would make my hands hurt too much. So I use my scissors. So I can grip them differently and up in the bigger part. So Maria says, yeah, you speed up the videos too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I mean, I just, yeah, well, and then plus, besides keeping my attention, um, also, then I, I can help to watch more videos in, in a day, you know, because I, I actually like to watch everybody's full video. Um... I like to give as much of that view time as I possibly can. So I do that a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, but going faster, you know, then I can see the whole video and I think that's good. You know, that's a technical question I have. Um, you love candy corn? <laughs> My husband loves it. I do not eat candy corn. I don't know, I'm more of a chocolate girl. So I don't really eat candy corn. Um, you know, maybe I'll have like a piece or two, but like, that's it. So that's funny. Uh, I know October is almost over. I know. And Christmas is going on pretty soon. And actually guys, uh, I'm going to work on, I think I'm hoping to have time to do this little tiny book and turn it into a junk journal. Isn't it so cute? So I hope to be able to do that, um, over the you know, during the Christmas crafting season. So yeah, I can't believe October's almost over. All right, so here's the front and here's the back. Gorgeous! I love it. So let's get our first signature back over here. So I'll make sure, I'm hoping I'm not mixing my signatures up. I don't think so, all right. So I think, let's talk about this. Let me fold this first of all and turn it into an actual page here. Okay, so now we're gonna decide, mm, that's a little bit, oh, I got some I got some napkin hanging over. Let me cut that off real quick, I don't like that. And then I have to decide, do I want this to be the first page, the second page, you know, like what? So we'll do that in just a second. All right, I think we got it. Looking good now. All right, so when we open up our book, and I do this a lot while I'm creating. I pretend like I'm actually opening the book. So let's pretend this is like this. So we, if we open it up, and this will have like a cover on it. So this could be the first page that we see, the first thing we see, or no, it has to be this. Look, this or this. I think it kind of has to be this. Yeah, it does. So we are gonna put this like this but then we're gonna make sure it looks good next to that. Hmm, okay, I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I could create a pocket in here that has some yellow in it. What do you guys think? Yeah, you know, and um, I didn't get to enjoy Christmas crafting enough last year, so I want to start on it early, which actually is why I picked this Beauty and the Beast book because it does have some winter scenes and I thought that would be, kind of get me into the, to the mood of it. I need an opinion on this. Um, let's pretend that it's going inside. It might work for my eye a little bit better. Well, it would be pretty next to that. 
Let's try that. Okay, let's try that. Ooh, I think that's gonna work. All right, so let's say it's like this, and then we open it up, and then these are together. I think that looks lovely. And then on the back, yeah, look, I think it's good, right? Okay, I think so. And happy Saturday to you, my friend. Okay, so let's grab another piece. Let's, let's take a look at this, because we have a rose here. It's plain on this side, but that might be nice to open up to that. Hmm. Let me know if you guys have thoughts on that and I'll cut this to size. Hopefully there's enough light, guys. Make sure, let me know if there's not. Oh, hi, Mari. Thanks for joining. Feel free to just pop in and out because I'm not timing myself today. I, I have, you know, this could go on forever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Eventually, I'll get hungry, so, you know, but, uh, right, am I doing that right? No, I'm not. It needs to be like this. Okay. All right. So, let me move that out of the way. This. You like the way that goes well? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, let's try that. All right. And I might have to do another napkin, or but I could do that later. It doesn't have to be now, but let's pretend real quick that this was how we opened it. Oh, but then that's plain. Hmm. All right, let's avoid uh, this. Let's ignore this for now. I can always come back to it. Oh, thank you, Royal, for reminding everybody about thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so this looks great together. Turning the page, I like the way that looks. It looks like you guys do too. Ah, oh, well, I'm so glad you are here for your first chat with me. Yay! <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. All right, so uh, let's put another piece of paper here. And let's see if it would be this one. No, that does not look good. Let me see what we have, guys. Let's pull our choices over. Um, we have... Dun, dun, dun. That looks pretty. Let's try yellow. Thank you, Pam, for giving me a thumbs up. All right, so there's the yellow. I don't think it has much of an impact, you know, like the other. Um, let's try this one. Hmm, it's a little too dark, so let's move that out of the way. Uh, we can also go with a nice plain coffee pink silver paper. Okay, so guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you want, yes, it is your second time. Do we like this one next to this page or do we want to go plain? Let me know what you guys think. Oh, that's awesome. You're watching me on TV and using the phone to chat. That's fantastic. Let's fold this in half and try it out. But then if you like the other ones, let me know, or the other pink one, let me know. So if we did this, sorry, it's a little shadowy, guys. Uh, if we did this, it would look like that. It's a little plain in my taste, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with plain. And then on the other side, once we had flipped it, it would look like that. Hmm, okay. I'm almost thinking I might like this. All right, we're not cutting it to size yet, but we are gonna fold it in half so we can play with it. All right, so it would look like this. Oh, I think that's kind of pretty, guys. What do you guys think? I think that's kind of pretty. And then when we flipped it over, it would look like this, and then what I could do is add some blue because we've got a lot of blue. Well, we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of blue. So I'm thinking this one, what do you guys think? Let me know if you like the plain pink or if you like this more decorative pink. And then while we're talking and thinking about that, oh, you like that one, okay, okay, so let's do that. So let me cut this to size real quick. This is great. You guys are helping me like plan out this journal. I'm so excited. This is so awesome. So let me think about how this has to go. Hold on. I folded it so my signature goes like that. So I'm cutting the height. Okay. I just have to remember what I'm doing here, right? 
Okay, so we're gonna cut the height. Hmm. Oh geez, doing it wrong, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so I'm a little less nervous now than I was when I started. I always have just such nervous energy when I start, but you know, it's, oh my gosh, you guys, I totally cut that wrong. <laughs> But it's okay, because we're gonna use it like this anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's just that I had folded it and it creased, but I don't, I don't think that's really too big of a deal. Okay, so, well thank you Mari. I'm glad you like the way that that is looking. So let's do this. So here's how it's gonna be. That's how that's gonna look. And then we'll flip this, and then what we'll do is, you know, when I'm ready, we can add um, paper or napkin. I usually like to use the napkin. And actually, since I have this leftover napkin, let's see how this looks next to this. I like it, guys, because there's a lot of purple in there. Mm -hmm. And then if we were going to put that there, oh, yeah, 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 that's good next to this. I know this is more springy than this, but the colors are great. And then when I add a packet or a packet, a pocket or a belly band, It'll, I can, you know, winterize it up a little bit. So I'm thinking this one, right, guys? Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to move this out of my way. Hopefully I don't lose it. I typically do misplace everything <laughs> while I'm working on it. All right, I'm going to get the cover out of the way. We don't need that right now. I'm going to go ahead and stack these like that. Okay, now I will put the napkin on. Now this got a little torn in the corner, but I think that's okay. I can work with it. Let me see how big it is. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be a problem at all. Yeah, and so I don't get glue on these. I'm just going to move these out of the way. I'm going to put them right here. Okay. And we'll start in this corner since this is the torn corner over here. All right. So when I do, um, for those of you who just joined in, when I do um, napkins i do use glue stick but i don't usually use glue stick for much else because i worry about it coming undone but it adheres napkins so so good all right there we go and again uh, for those of you who just popped in i don't worry about wrinkles i like the wrinkles they add character so we're not obsessing about that I do, see how I was pushing that way? I'm just pushing it to make sure I get, oops, underneath there. Because <laughs> sometimes I might miss a spot, even though I try to be, oops, I try to be really thorough when I'm adding the glue. I think it's so funny that Carl popped in. How funny is that, you guys? It's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Just pressing this down. Okay. How many pages are in a signature? Well, in a little golden book, it is uh, only three pages, which then translates to six, which then translates to 12, but it's actually only three of these. Is, am I right? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So each one is one, two, one, two, three, four. So hopefully I did my math right. Yeah, 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 three times four is 12. All right, guys, so I noticed something right off the bat. When I first put my napkin down, I put it down not perfectly straight. So if you look up here at the edge, it's gonna be plain white. So I think I'm gonna tear my napkin. Mm. Okay, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna tear the napkin and then I'm gonna put the rest of it up higher. But I'm leaving this as is because I can uh, go around it with like ink, you know? But I would like to correct it for the other, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll correct it for the other page. So I'll just, whoops, I will just cut it down the center. Wish me luck, friends. Wish me luck cutting down what I think is the center here. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> glue the rest of this down. Oh, I'm so glad you like Tassel Tuesday. I have such a blast uh, doing Tassel Tuesday. And um, we're doing gnomes right now. I'm doing collaboration with um, my friend, Norma Lisa, the Florida Misfit Crafter, and we are doing gnome tassels. And it's been so fun. So this week coming up is gonna be shabby chic tassels. 
so I'm going to actually have to make those this weekend. But I'm glad you enjoy watching that. Uh, Gemma Wild, thank you for coming in. Everybody say hi to Gemma. I hope that I'm saying your name correctly. And I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's the first time I'm meeting you. So welcome so much. You know, welcome for, or I mean, thank you for being here. As you can see, I have nervous energy and I can't speak when I have nervous energy. We are working on Beauty and Beast Journal. So, and maybe you already knew that. I don't know. But thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. So let's see where the crease is, guys. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I think I did a good job. I did. I did a pretty good job right there. Okay. So now, hopefully, I can glue this other one on straight. Hi, Lisa. Everybody say hi to my friend Lisa. She is with Treasures and Adventures. She actually lives not too far from me, and we get together, and we have lunch sometimes, and we support each other's channels, and she's an adventurer, and she does all sorts of things outdoors, and also, she buys storage units, and she um, goes through them, and then she sells a lot of that stuff on eBay, and um, but she is an awesome person and a kind-hearted, just really neat person. And guess what, you guys? I met Lisa when we both were doing triathlons. Yes, we both did triathlons. And that is not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. So we met when we both did uh, a race down at Fort DeSoto, which is near St. Petersburg, Florida. It's on the beach, actually. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I like to camp down there too. Uh, but that's where we met the very first time. And that's been so many years ago. And we are still friends. So that's kind of nice. As a matter of fact, we're due to have lunch pretty soon. So thank you guys for saying hi to her. I appreciate that. All right, so we almost have this napkin all the way glued on. There we go. All right, and then, like I mentioned, this piece was torn, so I'll just tear it off the rest of the way, and I'll put it over this corner here. And that way, our corner is not plain. Okay, voila. Now I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna make sure there's nothing on my table, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edges. So before I sew the signatures in, which that'll be a little while, that won't be in this video unless I'm uh, still doing this at midnight, um, but before I sew the signatures in, pages that I want or need to ink, I will do that, you know, before they're in the book. I don't do a lot of inking in my creations. I like a more of a brighter look, but I do ink sometimes, and on this page I will have to on the other side because the napkin you know, I placed it wrong, and so there's some exposed page, so we'll just use purple ink to ink that up. But I don't think that's gonna be today either. You know, I like to do that, you know, towards the end, kinda. Not always towards the end, but. Okay, there we go. Hi, Crafty Sam! Thank you for joining us! So good to see you! How have you been? Tell me how you've been. I've been missing you lately. So I hope you've been okay. I did see some of your videos, um, but I just feel like you haven't been on as much. So I hope everything is all right with you. And I'm gonna move a light over, guys. Hopefully that's not too bright. Hopefully that works right there. Okay, this piece didn't come off. Let me tear it, okay. And I missed a corner, so let me just get that corner before we move on. All right, there we go. And where's my signature? Here it is, okay. So we're gonna fold that. We're gonna pop it in where we planned on having it and that's how it's gonna look together. So I like it, right? I, I like the purple, I like the, ooh, let me push this down one more time. I didn't do a good enough job the first time, guys. Hang on, sorry. I just get talking and distracted and you know, so. We definitely do not want our work to suffer. Okay. Okay. I think, I think we're in pretty good shape now. All right. There we go. So I think that's going to look lovely. And let's open it up to the center. So now question. Here's the next question. 
Here is going to be the center of the first signature. Do I want to add some more paper in the center or do I want this nice center spread to be the story? So let me know about that. And while, you, while I'm waiting on you guys to tell me your thoughts on that, I'm going to pull the next signature over. Now I gotta go dig around and find it. Actually, let me take a sip of water. Look at my gorgeous cup. I can't lean it too far sideways because there's water in it. But look, it's a flamingo. Let me get it over here. With a crown on her head, okay? Is it perfect for me or what? <laughs> It is perfect for me, yes. Okay. Oh, um, we have some options, guys. I kind of do like the story being here, but I could add a doily, but it covers up the images. Arr, I don't think I want to do that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Well, here's a small one. Oh, that could be kind of cute. Okay, okay. Um, what do you think about the little doily? Pam, is that the one you're talking about or are you talking about the big one? I say we use the big one somewhere else. I'm thinking we maybe use the little one. What do you think? All right, weigh in everybody. And, but I feel like I'm going with this one because then we can see the images and I think it's cute, right? Oh, you're talking about my cup was cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I don't know what the delay is. It's not really bad, but um, yeah, I was already thinking about doilies and you guys were still thinking about my cup. <laughs> anyway, I think this is what we're going to do. If you guys agree, I think that's a done deal right there. The little one. Okay, thank you, Mari. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, for now, the first signature is done. It's not done, but it's we've chosen our pages, right? And that's what we wanted to do. So let's do a little quick flip. We're gonna be adding pockets and all that, but this is the base. I always do my base first, then I add my pockets, then I add my ephemera, so on and so forth. So this is how it's gonna look so far, and I am liking it. So let's go through the second half. Love that, that's a great color combination. Um, I like this, we're gonna add blue over here, so that's gonna be fine. Cause you know, there's blue here and there's not really any pink in here, but it still works, I still love it. This is terrific together because of the pink and the purple over here, so good, so good. And then this is great, so much brown, and then he's got his brown outfit on, I love it. All right, so that's it for the first signature. So let's go ahead and grab the next one and you guys can help me design the pages for that but I have lost it, you guys. Okay, here it is, I found it. Okay, so this is the second signature with some napkin on it. And this is what they're gonna look next to each other. So we need to put a piece of paper, um, not in between them, but like, uh, you know, um, like wrapping this one so that that's what it looks like there. What do you guys think of the brown? We're gonna try out some one, we're gonna try out some different ones. Brown and gold is an option. And then when we open the little golden book, that would be right there. And I kind of actually like that, but give me your opinion if you, oh, thank you, Brandy Martha, that you love the napkin. Thank you, thank you. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think about this and it would butt up against this one. It's kind of rich looking and then I could do like, blue belly band or blue pocket or blue and pink, you know. Uh, let me know about this one. I'm kind of drawn to it. Let me see what our other choices are real quick. Um, oh, well, we also have, no, that won't work, sorry. Sorry, sorry. We also have the pink and silver coffee dye paper. Oh, we actually also could do a doily as, you know, on the front, and then it would look kind of like that. I'm sure it's not centered, but that's what that would look like, and it kind of draws um, the pink out here. So let me know. Hopefully you guys can see it good enough. Let me know. It's a little blurry. I'm looking in my thing. It looks a little blurry, but whatever. Um, that's definitely a contender. And then let me see if there's any other contenders. Let's take a look. I have this blue. It's already kind of small. So if I was going to use this, I would, it would look like, I'd put it like right in the center right there. And that's how that would look. 
you know, it's okay, but I don't think it's like exciting. It's not, it's not like, oh my gosh, wow. You know, that's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think. All right. I got some opinions coming in. I would leave it if the pages are continuing story. Okay. Coordinates with the rose and the brown one with the beast. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Mari, oh, you keep buffering. I'm sorry. I'm looking good on my end. I'm sorry that you're buffering, hon. Um, but so far looks okay on my end. So, uh, it might be just from where you're at. So, Mari, were you thinking about this one? I'm going to, I'm going to like hold my breath for a second and see if that's what you're talking about. Coordinates with the rose and rose. Yes, it's you. Okay, Pam. Um, Mari, get back to me if you're talking about this brown one, because I do think it looks good with this. So let me know your thoughts. I think my, my true contenders are... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go for it. Let's live dangerously. Let's go for it. All right, I'm going to cut it to size. Um, sorry, Granny Martha. Uh, you're, you're, you were outvoted. <laughs> so, um, all right, here we go. Uh, let me think about this. I'm cutting it to fit this way. Okay. Got to make sure I'm cutting at the right angle. All right, I think this is good. Okay. Put that with my scraps because those will come in handy later. All right, I'm gonna fold it and so then it would look like this up, you know, next to each other, and I do like that. I'll have to decide before I glue everything in. I will probably put another napkin, something or other, on here. Either that or a full sheet of scrapbook paper. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to try to design the pages over here. So if these two are doing this, then actually, let's think about... Let me see what the last page is. Oh, it's quite yellow. Perfect, actually. So I'm thinking since it's yellow... How beautiful would this be, first of all, next to this, and then if I do it right, hold on, I'm going to think about this. I might have two of these, which would come in handy. All right, if I did this. That's how these two would look next to each other. I think that's super pretty. So then we would open it and we would either have napkin or I could put this on the inside. So let's pretend that's what I did. It would be, oh, there's no yellow in here. Not much, not much. But it sure would look good next to this one. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm, mm hmm all right, let me know if you guys have, you love the doily, yes. Well, don't worry, we're gonna be using the doily. I brought it to the table because we're definitely gonna be using it. Just don't know where yet. But speaking of the doily, um, let me see how that looks next to the brown. Okay, that's not my favorite, we can't do that. Um, so what I was trying to get at you guys was was trying to get this gorgeousness next to this. So, uh, okay, I got it, I got it. If we fold it the opposite way, right, and then this goes inside, then it would be next to it. And then what I would have to do is just really decorate this page to pull in this one so that they work together. Because I really, really love the way that this and this goes together. 
Although I almost think I love it going up and down. But I already creased it. So let's go with it the other way. And I'm just going to cut the top off. All right, that's what we're doing. Okay. I love, love, love making these junk journals. It's my first little golden book one, but I, you know, it's basically no different than in the other junk journal. Um, it's just slightly different, but I, I love making them. They're so fun. It's, um, you know what I love about it is that it's just so creative. Okay, good. I'm glad you like the way that looks. All right, cutting that. And then, you know, we can use these scraps on pages to make the, the page next to it work. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty. All right, so here what we're gonna do is this is gonna be like this, which means we're gonna decorate this page to match this one, but not right this second. We're just getting our layout. So we'll also have to do the same thing here. We'll have to pull these colors over. And then let's pick our page for this one. Um, actually, let's try on our little blue one for size. It might not be wintry enough. We may be, well, let's just take it in for a second. I don't think I like it. I don't like it. It's too, the flowers make me too summer feeling. So I, I just, I don't think I can use that. Um, let me see what else. We have this yellow, but that might be a little plain Jane. Let's see. No, oh, actually it's not bad because there's a lot of brown going on there. Um, now let's live dangerously for just a second. Let's talk about pulling in this deep red and gold. I mean, it, it does go with him, but is it gonna go on the opposite page? Let's, I mean, I could do this on with this page. I could do that. Let's take a look. Let me move this one out of the way so I'm not distracted. Let's take a look and see how this would look. Because basically, you know, this is how it would be. Actually, no. Uh, this is how it would be. So then if we flip over and this is our page, what do you guys think? I mean, I think this works. Oh, I think it works. Let me know what you think. I think it works, right? It would be this one and then this one. I kind of like it. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to fold it preemptively because I'm hoping you guys agree. Okay, now we're going to have to fit that doily in somewhere for Granny Martha. Hey, Granny Martha, I'm so glad you're feeling good enough to be here. I was just so happy that you were feeling better and that you're home and just all of that wonderfulness. I'm just so happy about that. All right. Okay, Mari likes it. Very good. So we are going to cut that to size. Okay, putting that there, that's how that's going to look. I think that's very masculine, um, which this page is very masculine. We got a big horse and we got wolves and we got the beast and he's fighting with them. And yeah, I think that works really, really well with the story. Oh, did you make me a salad, Andrew? Andrew made me a salad, everybody. Thank you so much. I will eat it when I'm done, but thank you so much. I appreciate you doing that for me. All right, this one we'll have to dress up. We'll get back to that. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting to like, you know, like the dancing part. So we, we gotta, this has gotta be good, guys. This has to be good. So let me pull out our options. Now, guys, I have so much paper. It's not like these are our only options, but I just have so much paper. So I only grabbed a few things. We could, because remember, this is a journal. We have to have space for writing. So I'm thinking maybe, let me fold, this is coffee dyed, but it's quite gold. And I love it. So guys, what do you think about that? And then the other part of the book will stick out right here. You can still see some of this page. It's plain, but I think that's good because I wouldn't want to distract from this um, beautiful image here. And then, if that's how that was, it would be 
the same right here, which I think is nice. It's simple, but I think it's nice. And then over here, oh, and I think it looks good because we have bright green and yellow, so I think that works. And let's see. I think it works here too. It's plain, like I said, but it's fine. And then I also have a brighter yellow that I could use. I'm gonna fold this and we're gonna try it on for size and see if we like the aged look or if we like it brighter. So let's try that on for size. So. All right, so here it is brighter, which it does look nice. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to tell me. <laughs> I mean, they both look good, but there's a definite difference with the brighter. Okay, you don't like the brighter? All right, I feel like make another journal. Well, girl, get on it, make a journal. <laughs> so Mari, you say no to the bright. Okay, so we're going with the, um, the aged one. Okay, okay, let's do it then. Let's stick to that that and it does it, it does look nice because after all they're in an old castle and all that I really like to make sure that my pages match the stories that are in these books I really really like to keep the story cohesive so the dive one okay that's great everybody votes for that so perfect all right so we have this this will dress up we've got this then we turn over and it looks like that which is lovely and then we have this. Okay, so here's the center spread. And on the first center spread, we put a little doily here. This one's got a lot more imagery and I'm thinking maybe we leave it as is and maybe add later, not right now. This would be a great place to add, oh, like a small side pocket, keeping as much of him as we can. Well, at least we keep him. So if we did a small side pocket, then something could tuck, but when you took it out, you could see the image. I'm thinking that we could do that, oh, not on her. We can't cover her. So we could do maybe just a small pocket right here and then with a little tag that wouldn't cover her because we can't, you know, we don't want to do that. So let me know what you guys think about not having anything in the center, but just creating pockets. So let me know your thoughts on that. And then this is how this would look. And this is how this would look. Obviously with pockets and dressed up and everything. And then this is plain. This is a plain piece of paper. Well, it's not, but you know. So we'll have to dress this up. And then we'd have this, which this looks great together. And then we have this, which would technically be our last page. And then I'm thinking uh, what I could do is just go around the edge of this one with some ink. And then I could actually maybe draw lines in for, for journaling. So that's a thought on that. All right. Um, and this pockets. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right, so we've got... Phase one is good. I'm not done making this video because I'm not done crafting for today, but we got our pages picked. So let's go back to signature one. This is how I do these books. I'm very methodical about them. <laughs> um, let's go back to this. And obviously we are going to create a, a pocket or a belly band here. And let me see, I'm thinking, I didn't bring any fabrics with me over here today. So let's work with the papers that we have, I'm thinking. And uh, we could create a nice belly band or pocket. All right, so if we do a pocket, it's gonna be like this and then we can slide something in or we can do the corner pocket, right? Which I always bend mine a little bit. Or we could do a belly band. And guys, I'm kind of drawn to the belly band for this first page. Um, so I think let's do that and to make it nice and thick so that it like holds up, I'm just going to use this whole scrap that I have and just folding it over. I'm sorry about my little shadow. I wish I could move my light. I mean, I can move my light. I just don't. Yeah, now it's kind of too bright. Let me move it over to the side. Let me see. Can you guys see me? Yeah, that's really shadowy. Okay, let me move it back. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave it where it was. All right, let me get let me get my folds done, and then then we'll glue them together. 
I want to make sure that doesn't look straight. Hold on, let me move this out of the way real quick. This does not look straight to me. Okay. Yep, yeah, it's not straight. So sorry, um, I have to be patient with myself with them when I'm folding because I don't like crooked lines. <laughs> so if I do that, how's that gonna be? It's a little bit off right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my trimmer and I'm going to trim a little bit of the end off of this. Just not too much, but so it's not overhanging. All right. Yep, that's perfectly fine. This is gonna be underneath, but I don't want it to catch on the tag. I always think about the little things like that, and, you know, because I just think that's really important. So I have to make sure that the edge is sealed and glued really, really well so that it doesn't catch. And then let's look at this. To me, it seems like the top is wider than the bottom, um, and it is, look at that. Okay, so that means, even though I'm gonna cut some of that off, I need to, yes, I'm being a little OCD right now. There are just some things that I am quite particular about. All right, now let's see if they're the same. They are, that was the perfect adjustment, okay. So, Mari, I typically use the Aileen's Tacky Glue um, because I seem to have really good luck with it. Now, on the inside of this, I'll just use some glue stick because um, that would be fine. But I, 98% of the time, unless I'm working with uh, napkin, because napkin, I use glue stick. But when I'm working with everything else, I use Aileen's. And then... When I'm working with fabric, of course, I always use fabric tack because it's the best. Like, you know, for that. All right, so let's see. I think I have this one going in first. Hopefully. Yeah, I think that's how we had it. Okay. Now we can cut it to size. Actually, we're not cutting it to size until we press it down really well. I do press everything down really well. I'm, um, you know, I don't think it's obsessive. I just think it's the right thing to do. So that's what I do. And actually, I can see there's a little space like right here. Yep, look at that. So I'm going to go under that with the Aileen's Tacky Glue, and that will handle that problem. And I know a lot of you use, um, what's that one? It's got the super pointy tip that you can get. I have never tried it. You guys know what I'm talking about. I have not tried it, but I'm sure it's fantastic. I just have never tried it. It's expensive. So I just find Aileen's to be an excellent adhesive, but uh, not too expensive. And plus I can buy it anywhere I go. I can buy it at Michael's, Joann's. Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, you know, all that. All right, so that's going to seal that up really good. There's a little bit of glue that came out of the edge, which is fine. That'll be sticking down, but that'll actually be good because it'll seal it. We're just going to set that aside. Actually, I don't need to set it aside. I can just measure it now. I'll just do it upside down. So this is going to be our little belly band, and I'm going to mark that with my fingernail. Okay. And then we'll just cut it. Hopefully, I will cut it nice and straight. Okay, let's see. Oops. It's not a very wide belly band, but that's okay. Now, when I put belly bands in my journals, I tend to lean them towards the outside of the journal. So I don't, I don't actually ever center them. And I have a reason for that, because when you're taking a tag in and out, if you're trying to go in from this side, you don't want to be dealing with whatever's going on in the spine. 
So I tend to lean them a little bit towards the outside and that way you have plenty of room on both sides. That's just how I see it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that's just how I do it, so. Now sometimes, you guys, I sew these in, onto my pages. I love sewing paper. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Uh, just love sewing paper. But my sewing machine is in my craft room and I'm in my dining room. And as you guys know, I am redoing my craft room because I'm you know, trying to move all my stuff in there and it's coming along really great, but you know, I'm kind of split between spaces right now. All right, now I'm gonna press this glue down and I put that under there just so it doesn't squirt out onto my table. I wonder if I have some scrap paper. Here we go. I got some scrap wallpaper that I got from my friend Maria at Maria's Miscellany. Thank you, Maria. I have a surprise coming up this week having to do with your wallpaper <laughs> that you sent me. I think you're going to like it. Yes, that'll make a great... Uh, thing to use so that I don't get glue everywhere. All right, so I can keep this piece just if we're gonna make, you know, tabs. Actually, let's make a tab, because it'll match. Let's do a tab, guys. I like to make tabs out of fabric, too, um, but this one matches, so let's let's do it. And we have it, so why not? It's already made. Now, I should actually grab my ink and ink this edge but I don't want to get up and leave the table. I didn't bring ink over either. That's in the other room. So, okay, I think that's fine, actually. All right, so let's glue that. I think tabs are cute because they just add another level of detail. You know what else I didn't bring over? Well, maybe I have some. Oh, I do, thankfully. Whew my clothespins. So guys, that's another thing, and I think it's kind of funny because I think like, I haven't seen anybody else use clothespins, but I love using them to hold down my stuff. And I will tell you why I, oops, hold on, I gotta put one in the center. I totally didn't glue that properly. <laughs> Whoops. Now it is, you know, it's, it's hard to talk and craft for me. Some people just do it like so naturally and like it, it's, it's not natural for me. Okay. So here's my tab. Let me grab my clothespins. Excuse the reach. There we go. All right. So I love clothespins because they have a much better reach than like, um, other clips. I mean, some clips have a great reach, uh, don't get me wrong, but clothespins have a nice deep reach. They can go all the way down to here. And so, I really like using them. And then you can just stack as many in there as you need to really get it to hold. So I find them great to work with. Oh, bye Pam, I didn't know you were leaving. Have a good time at the store. Hopefully, um, you know, it's a fun shopping trip to the store. I don't know, but thank you Pam for being with me today. I appreciate you being here and spending some time. And uh, so have fun shopping, buy yourself something nice. <laughs> okay, we got this done. Now for the inside of this page. All right, friends, let's make a decision about what we're gonna do here while our little things dry. Uh, wondering about, I could do, we have some ideas, guys. Um, actually, yeah, hold on. Sorry about my stalling, I know that's a terrible bore. I could take this and cut it to size, the exact size of this, and then I could glue that there. Okay, Pam, you'll rewatch. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, that way if you wanna do a little golden book, then you can kinda of craft along with it, you know? So guys, I kinda of like this, cause we have a rose here and we have a rose here, so let me know your thoughts on that. 
That's option number one. Then we have option number two. And since this does say Beauty and the Beast, we could put this in here. So let me know about that. And let me see if I think we have another option, like a good one. Uh, the only other one that comes to mind is the music paper, but no, look, it's kind of plain Jane, like it's just plain, right? So let me know, option one with the rose or option two with the princess. All right, guys, I'm waiting for you to weigh in. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hot second to weigh in and let me know which one. And here, I'll put them both. I'll put them right like next to it. Can you see? Whoops, let me scooch this over a little bit. Actually, the delay is not bad. Well, I don't think it is anyway. Um, all right, guys, what do you think? Which one? Which one? Which one? Number one. All right. Number one it is. Let's do it. That'll be gorgeous, I think, really, truly. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. This should be glued enough for me to not have to worry about those anymore. I'll give them one last squeeze. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna put it right over here. Move this out of the way. Okay, so oh, actually, while we're talking about that, let me see. Wow, it almost, all right. All right, I need an opinion again, Mari. <laughs> so, of course, this looks gorgeous, you know, like right side up, but if I do it sideways, I can basically cover the whole sheet. Uh, there'll be a tiny bit on the edges, but I think that doesn't matter because I can ink that up later. So it would be like this. You think, and the, even the writing is now like, you know, sideways. Let me know if you think that's okay, um, or if you think I should cut the paper and then just do something different on this side. All right, so I am waiting for that opinion. I mean, I think it's okay, um, but I also appreciate that it looks really good like that, you know. So let me know. This will be option number one <laughs> again. <laughs> and then this will be option number two. Okay. So if anybody wants to weigh in, just let me know. All right. Now, while you guys, while I'm waiting on some feedback on that, I'm going to see where else we have to make decisions like that. Still looks good both ways. Okay, okay. Well, then since we think it looks good both ways, then let's utilize the whole sheet and glue it on. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. And um, I gotta make sure that when I do that, some of our napkin there, when I do that, um, I think what I'll do is cut the paper in half, glue it to the edge, because I don't want this to bunch up. You know how that can happen sometimes? Because napkin doesn't, I never worry about napkin, but I do worry about paper. So, hold on, some strange music just came up. I need to turn that down. That was kind of obnoxious. Okay. Um, anyway, yes, let me cut it. I think I will feel better if I cut it. And just the tiniest bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is, you see I have it folded in half, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally cut down where I folded it and that'll take out the center, which is exactly what I don't want to be there. And probably that will be plenty, and then it won't get in the way of the spine. All right, and then it's gonna be, let me test it. Yep, that leaves plenty of room there. And then before I sew it in, I'll go over it with ink and it'll, um, yeah, it'll bring some color to it, which will be great. All right, all right, so let's go. So, 
um, on this because it's paper, not napkin, I am going to use the tacky glue. Yeah, I think the, um, the colors stand out too, and I think that looks nice. I'm going around the edges here with my glue. Art glitter glue, that's what I was trying to say. Art glitter glue is the one that a lot of people use. And then uh, my friend Crystal, uh, just crafting over here, and of course other people too, I just know for sure she uses it, is the Barely, is it called Barely Art Glue? I think that's what it's called. Uh, she loves that, I've never tried it. Hi Caroline, thank you so much for coming in and checking it out. We're working on a Beauty and the Beast Little Golden Book Junk Journal. And uh, so that's what we are doing today. Thank you for popping in, appreciate that. So I'm gonna line the top up because the tab is here and I don't want there to be any issues and then I'll just add extra inking around the bottom. Okay, let me grab a few pieces of my scrap wallpaper here that I was working with the other day and that way when I push this down we won't have glue squirting out on my table which I mean my table has plenty of glue on it believe me but I'm trying to not <laughs> cover it too much all right so this part where I'm pressing it down I take that out of most of my videos when I edit them so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me do that but of course you know we're live so I can't take it out Either fast forward it or take it out, but I usually take a lot of it out. All right, so we're gonna do this one the same. Oh, and actually, if we end up putting a pocket at the bottom, it'll totally cover the exposed white part. Oh, thank you, Caroline, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I was kind of excited. I wanted to just come on live today to do this because, I don't know, I just felt inspired to come on live. <laughs> And some days I don't feel inspired to come on live and, and work, and, and some days I do. So it's kind of like when I do, I like to take advantage of that feeling because, you know, some days I'm just tired, you guys. And, you know, it takes a lot of energy. And so, and I like to bring a lot of energy. You guys know that. I am an energetic person, and I like to bring that happy, fun energy to my videos and then, you know, when I have days when I'm just not feeling it, it's, you know, just is what it is. But, you know, in most days in my regular life, I'm a very happy, upbeat, energetic person. So when I'm not that way, uh, it's kind of weird to begin with, but I certainly wouldn't be a time to, you know, do a live. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what got me on that tangent. But, all right, we are going to go ahead and do our pressing again. Oh, this looks so pretty. I have had this particular piece of paper, and you can see that I used part of it on something a long time ago, but I have had it because I've been hoarding it. Honestly, I have been hoarding it and just not wanting to use it because I love it so much, but it's like, it's time. You know, you can't hoard everything forever. We gotta use our stuff. Oh, speaking of you guys, Okay, I'm committing to you all that I'm not going to the thrift store. I do have some Thrifty Thursday videos coming out because it's stuff that I already had bought that I already had the videos edited in, in the bin. And then also, uh, I have some things that my friend just recently gave me, actually gorgeous fabrics, which you see them. But I'm not going to the thrift store to buy anything. I'm going to be trying to use my stash. I need to be just inspired to get into my stash. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm on a thrift store diet. So like I said, you'll see a few more videos because I have some in the in the waiting, but um, you know, that's the story. Okay guys, gorgeousness. Okay, look at it. So here we have this one and we'll create something that goes in here. And then we have this page, I love it. Okay, then we'll be here. And then here, oh, looking so good, oh my goodness. Oh, it's all gorgeous so far, you guys, look at it. Oh my gosh, do you love it? You guys have helped me make this, so thank you. I love it and I hope you love it. 
I could also go around this. Oh, I don't have blue. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't know. I think I might have blue ink. So when I go around with inking phase, then we'll do some blue and it'll tie everything together and that'll look super nice. Love this. Yep, love it. Oh, so good. Okay, so the first signature, every page is um, got something on it. So let's do that now with the second signature. Here we are. Yes, okay, so this is gonna butt up to this one. So we have, oh, you guys, this might be the time to do this. Oh gosh, that's busy though. That's maybe a little too busy, guys. Let's save that. Yeah, that's, whew. <laughs> Let's try this. That does look really nice. I think we're gonna go with this. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. I'm glad you like the book. Thank you, Mari. I like it too. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see, Jovi, have you made a journal with lots of bling? My friend loves sparkle and bling and wants me to make her one. Okay, I have. Uh, Caroline, I made a journal of Cinderella and let me just tell you, it was full of all kinds of stuff. And then I'm working on actually a um, fashion journal and I think it's got bling in it too, but I haven't worked on it in a long time. Um, but you know, I think bling is easy to add, honestly. Uh, you totally can do it. So what you wanna do when you wanna add bling to your journal is once you, this is, this is what I call the base. What we're doing here now is the base of the journal. Then you go in and you know, you create pockets and then you add bling to your pockets. You add bling to all the edges. You add, um, you know, you just add and add and add and that's what you do and layers, lots of layers. So you get that sparkly stuff, anything with sparkle and then you just, you know, put it on, uh, put it on everything. And you know, bling is easy to do, easy to do. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this to size. So I'm measuring and that's going to be it right there and moving that over to the scrap pile. I try to use all my scraps when I create a journal so you'll be seeing those again. All right. So here's how this will look. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on. Oh yeah, I'm covering this. Okay. <laughs> look at that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out that sliver of the center like we did the other one and we're just gonna glue this onto the pages. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is gonna go here and then we don't know if it's gonna go on the back, it doesn't necessarily need to, we'll test that out shortly once we see um, you know, what that's gonna look like over there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna move my first signature over here in case we need it again. Now I'm gonna empty this part out so I can just work on this. Hold on, let me, before I do that, let me test something. So this is like this, and this is like this, and then this is gonna be the back of the book. Okay, so we may or may not use this here depending on how I decorate the cover, okay. Um, hi, Tina. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We are working on a little golden book. It is the Beauty and the Beast, and we are creating a junk journal. It is my first little golden book junk journal that I've ever done, and I'm super excited about it. So, um, as I was telling some people that were popping in, please feel free to pop in and out. You know, I know there's other videos going on. I'm not on a timer today. I'm just creating until I get hungry. And, um, you know, so I just appreciate you being here and checking out my video. So basically we're just working on getting our base and that means for me, what my base is, is um, I, I prep all the pages. I make sure they're in the order that I want. Um, anything that's plain gets unplain, <laughs> which is what we're doing now. We are, we got a piece of scrapbook paper we're gonna use. 
As you can see, it's decorative on this side, but plain on this side, so we're getting ready to change that. And here we go. Now let me get that into the right spot before it glues down. Okay. I think we got it. Just starting to glue down. I gotta, <laughs> I better do that quick. Okay. Let me get my wallpaper here. So, anybody? Oh my gosh, hello, Carol. How are you, my friend? I hope you are doing good. It's early where we are. Well, not early, but um, it must be evening time over there where you are. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you must be getting ready for bed. Well, thanks for popping over. I'm just making a little junk journal. Oh, Carol, you didn't realize I was doing a live because let me just tell you, this was very spontaneous. It's like I got home from the grocery store and the mood struck me and I decided to do it. <laughs> so uh, that's that's the deal. I didn't I didn't even message any of my friends to to let you guys know that I was doing it. I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna go on. I'm just gonna do this thing. I want to work on this little Beauty and the Beast journal. So that's the story. So oh, good, Tina. Yes, listen while you craft. That's awesome. And I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> since you'll be listening, you won't be able to hear everybody else. You'll just be listening to me and my, you know, nonsensical uh, ramblings. But uh, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, craft, girl, craft along. I think that's awesome. I love it when people craft along. I love to craft along. Like, I love to have your guys' videos on while I'm creating. And then the only time I get in trouble is, like, if I have to... A lot of times I'm creating and I'm filming, and then I'll have to put your guys' on, like, uh, pause or just silent for a second while I say something, and then I turn it back on. Um, and then sometimes I forget to do that. And then I can hear you guys in the background of my video, like, when I'm editing, and I'm dying laughing because I can hear you guys. So, Okay. There we go, there's that, then there's that. All right, checking for the other pages. This looks good, I like it. Then, not quite bedtime, it's about half 8 p.m. So I'm thinking that means 7.30 or 8.30. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So, okay, we gotta dress this up, guys. So let's take a gander at our options. Now, I already have some dark stuff, so I don't know if I love... No, I don't like that. No, no, I don't think we're going to do that. But, let's see. Uh, mm, kind of plain. Um, we have this, but... Wow, that is kind of pretty. Okay, I need to vote. I need to vote. You guys need to tell me if this is going here. Like, we're covering the white with this. I, I do kind of like it, I have to admit. Even though we're not into quite that part of the story yet. I kind of like it. So give me a vote on that, please. And then while we are thinking about that, um, I'm going to put this one here. So this one has a little bit of blue on it, and that might work. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Do you like the music? That okay, we're getting some yes. We're getting two yeses. Okay, so that yes, since there's a delay means yes to this. Okay, so I'm thinking that's what you guys mean. So let's cut it to size. Oh, just drop some paper on the floor. All right, let's cut this to size, which means we are folding it in half, or actually, let me move this over here. And let me take this. Um, you know what we need to do, guys, is we need to... Uh-oh, hold on, I'm messing myself up. That goes over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm messing myself up, hold on. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. All right, we had it like this. And then this goes like this. And then we want this to go like this. But do we also want it on this side. No, I don't think so. Although the greens do look great together. Hmm. So guys, tell me, do we want it on for just this one? Or do I want to, you know, like cut it to size? And then once we flip all the way to the back, it would look like this. Um, I don't know. 
that? I don't know if I like that or on this back page, would we rather see this? That works. Would we rather see... Okay, so for the, we're talking about the back page now. Do we want option one? Because option one is good for the first page. That's no question anymore. We're on the back page now. So option one, option two, and you know what? Let me move... Let me move this out of the way so it's not distracting. Okay, so option one, option two, option three, which, you know, the colors do work. That's all we're putting out there. Option one, two, or three. What do you guys think? And I'll go through them one more time so you can see them. Option one, oops, sorry about that. Okay, Mari likes number two, which is this one, which I do, I, I think I have to agree with that. There's something kind of nice about that. Okay, so good, I, I think that's very good. Um, oh, and Carolyn likes three, which was the dark one. Okay, so what that means is we are cutting the first page differently than we would have. So let's focus back on our first page and we have options two and three for the last one we get there. Okay. Yeah, gosh, I love it. Okay, let's cut that to size. So let me move that over there. And do this. And let me get my cutter ready. All right. Thank you, Jenna. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me see how I want to do this. Let's do, I don't want it too close to the center. All right, I think that's perfect. And then, I just need to measure the height here. Okay. Do you have some candy, Andrew? Andrew got to go to a little Halloween thing last night and he's enjoying some candy. Let's see, let me do it like, let me do it like this. No, no, you go ahead, sweetie, thank you. That was very nice of you to offer. All right, measuring my size here. There we go. Okay, so Tina, you say um, you were thinking two, but then you like three also. Okay, so when we get there, we'll go back to that. <laughs> I'll show them to you one more time. Okay, so the important thing is that this goes like that, and then when we open it up, we're going to attach this inside. <clears throat> oh, I cut it all strange. No, maybe I didn't. Hold on, let me see. No, I think we're okay. I think we're far enough away from the center when this closes. I just don't want it ever to rub on the, the center. I don't know. I'm going to take, I feel like I'm taking the tiniest sliver off. Okay. I'd rather have more room and then just ink it than have, um, have it be too close to the center. And then when you turn the pages, it gets all crinkly and folded. And I don't like that. So, <clears throat> okay. Wow, I need some more water. My throat's getting scratchy because I'm talking so much. For those of you who didn't see my cup, it is a gorgeous flamingo with a crown. So, <laughs> some of you have already seen it. <laughs> All right, whoops, back to work. Okay, I'm going to get these out of the way so I don't get glue on them. Is. I didn't real, even realize it was double-sided. That's gorgeous. Wow. Well, <laughs> that might be an option for the last page, too. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry, I just shook my table, guys. I don't know if you could tell. I totally kicked it with my knee. Okay. Yeah, that's super pretty. I like it. 
little flowers on it. So cute. Sorry, I'm a little shadowy. I don't know why it's so shadowy today. Oh, I know why. Okay, so when I usually record, I use my actual camera, not my phone. But when I do lives, I use my phone. And so I usually have a light that attaches to my camera that really brightens up my space, but I don't have that same light with my phone. Oh yeah, I did this one too, too, too tall, but that's okay, we'll trim it later, okay. Hi, Colleen, it's so, oh, thank you, I'm glad you like my cup. I didn't even know you were here, Colleen. Oh, you said hi, Jovi, blessings, aw, thank you. So good to see you, Colleen. I hope you are doing well. I'm just putting some scrap stuff underneath my page while I press my, you know, the page onto the other page and in case any glue squirts out. So glad you joined us, Colleen. So we're just making a Beauty and the Beast um, little golden book journal. It's my first little golden book. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. I think that's a whole lot of fun. And I do want to mention my friend Pam Van E at Pam's Paper Place. She does excellent uh, little golden books. I mean to tell you, like, she's a master, okay? And uh, her work is just always amazing and beautiful. So she's doing a tutorial series uh, on little golden books right now. Everything from removing the spine covering, which I did. And she did it better than I did, of course. But I did do it. I, I succeeded. I was impatient with the hairdryer. Um, and I do have a heating tool, but it's in my laundry room and it's up on a shelf because it's actually stronger than craft heating tools. <laughs> it probably would have taken it off within seconds. But um, anyway, she shows how she did that, which is actually where I learned how to do it, was watching her tutorial. And then I think she's on her third video of how to make little golden books. So, um, so you know, check it out if you're wanting to make one because she just, she really does a beautiful job every time, every time. Um, Colleen, you're doing well. I'm glad to hear that. You just got off of work. Well, yay, how nice. So nice that you are, you can just shake off your work day and enjoy some crafty time. How lovely is that, right? So wonderful. Okay. Let's put this thing back together. I know that I'm a little repetitive with my putting it back together and then looking at it, but you know, that's just how I roll. So here we go. This is what we decided on, guys. I like it. I think that was a great choice. So moving on to the next. So we have this page with the yellow. I like it. Oh, it's a little tall. I should trim that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me trim that real quick. And ooh, I see that this piece right here has some nice can you see it? Really nice dark edge, you see it? And so we'll take off the bottom. We won't take off the good dark edge, okay? So let me measure here. We're keeping the top, so let me start there. Okay, right about there, okay. Alrighty, so. Let's put that back together. So it was going to be like this. And then when we open it up, we have this, right? Did I do that right? No, <laughs> I did not. There we go. We have this. And then we were going to leave. I think we had voted on leaving this open, guys. Um... And, uh, you know, I might have a doily that, a small one that I could put in here just for a little something. But, you know, so it's either going to be the doily or the way it is. Now let's flip through the rest. Okay, so this and this, that's nice together. And then that and that, okay. This, okay, so now this was the page that we were semi-undecided about. But now we have new options. So we have option number we're gonna make this option number one. 
bright gold. Not a lot of gold on this side though, so that's my only issue with that, although I still love the pattern. So that's number one. Okay, this, everybody's got a vote. And then this is number two. Kind of like the subdued color palette there, but you guys let me know what you think. And then option number three is gonna be this really nice masculine kind of look that matches his clothes and really goes with his furriness quite well. So what do you guys think? I'll, I'll go through them one more time while you're sending in your votes. So I think we did option one. And then option two. Okay, Carol says three. Okay, you guys love three. Tina says three. Okay, okay. Another three comes in. Yes. Okay, then three it is. Three it is. So let's do it. Let me get these out of the way. I'm going to drink some more water from my gorgeous cup again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I never talk this much. Well, I mean, you know, just to you guys, but yeah, this is a lot of talking. Okay. So let's get this cut to size. Let me move, let me move this out of the way. And get myself organized here. I, um, I like to try to be super careful about where I put everything because I don't wanna have to think about, you know, how they go back in order. So anyway. All right. Let's go ahead. I wonder if I should mark this one with a pen. No, I don't want to mark it. Let's just do it like this. So, let's take off the top first. Yeah, so this paper actually was given to me by a friend of mine. Um, she lives here near me, and, um, oh, hold on, somebody asked me something. You could insert a light piece for a journal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. We're not even close to doing our tags. This is, you know, we're definitely going to be getting into that. We are just doing kind of our base right now. Then we'll be doing belly bands and tags and pockets and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, and that's really a fun part because that's when it really starts to get, um, colorful and full of goodies and you know just I love that part anyway my friend Tina her name is Tina and she is Tina from Florida and uh, she gave me oh I did it this way she gave me this uh, this paper and so I'm so glad to use it alrighty so anyway guys I'm measuring like this so I don't have to take the time to mark the paper you know I'm just it. All right, I'm drinking water out of an Elvis tumbler. My God, that's so awesome that she made you an Elvis tumbler. So obviously you're an Elvis fan. That's so sweet of her. Aww. You know who else makes tumblers is our friend Tina. Tina loves to craft. She makes amazing tumblers. Okay, uh, yep, let's glue this baby on here. I wish I could see your tumbler, Colleen. That would be so awesome. Sorry, I had my top in my mouth, actually. Okay. I know it's a little shadowy. Sorry about that, guys. Make sure I have enough glue in all the right places. Um, and also something that I do uh, towards the end of the project is by then, you know, the pages and things like this have had plenty of time to dry and I check everything to see if there's any edges that are lifting and then I will, I will hit them again with some more glue. All right, here we go. If you hear a little banging, that is just Carl. He is in the garage and he is working on another project. And today's project for him out there is he's working on a Corvette actually. 
So he is, uh, it had a little bubbling paint and he is working on fixing that. All right, let me get this on here straight. I had to move that slightly. Okay, all right. All right, let me put my glue guards down. <laughs> I, I know I, I know I, ha I need a mat and I actually have a mat but I'm trying to keep everything as much as I can out of this room because this is the room I'm moving out of and I do not want to keep dragging my stuff back in here you know but the other room is not quite ready for me to uh, to create in yet I'm close I'm so close for it being set up the way that I need it but it's just not there. And it, it definitely is not ready for doing lives. That's a whole completely different setup when you go live because you need your computer um, or something that you can read everybody's comments and you need your camera or your phone. Uh, so there's just more equipment when you go live. Uh, my si my daughter, my sister, too, my daughter um, let me borrow her little camera once and it was kind of, Pretty efficient, but um, you know, I didn't go steal that from her today. All right, so that is on there. And let me move these out of the way. So Colleen, have you been to Graceland? Is that something you wanna do? Or is that not something that you would ever want to see? My husband used to wanna go there, but now he's kind of like, eh, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't care as much about going there as he used to. Okay, so here's what we would have, guys. There we go, like that. Wait, yes? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Let me put these back where they belong. That's why I always do it, because, you know, confuse myself. Okay, so there's that. And then, yep, okay, looking good, looking good. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I will definitely be doing a tour of my new space. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm excited, excited to do that with you guys. Yeah, this looks great, you guys. Good choice. Very good choice. And then here it is over here. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's great. Now, of course, no, that's not it. That's not it. Because guess what? <laughs> we have to do that. Um, so on this one, we did this. And on this one, we don't know what the cover is going to look like. Oh, wait, yes, we do. Yes, we do know. Remember on the Fabric Thrifty Thursday, the one with the rose? So it's got the big red rose and then and it's satin and then it's it's made of like this kind of gold material. It's almost it's almost like that, but lighter. It's lighter. So that being said, and I would go get it and remind you guys, but I don't want to leave. Okay, if you don't care if I leave then um, tell me and I'll go get what is gonna be the cover. And if you don't want me to leave, just that's fine. So here's our options. Um, against what that satiny yellow, yes. Okay, got it, great idea. Um, we got this as an option. We have this as an option, which is really tempting. I don't know, I'm tempted, tempted to go get that cover, you guys. Uh, if I do it, it'll be 30 seconds of total lag time. Okay, you're waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. count if I made it in 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, um, so you guys remember, this is the gorgeous rose. And so this obviously is going to have to go on the outside. Let me just open this up so you can see it. Okay, so this is a very, it's showing up pretty true to color on the video, except I would say it's slightly warmer than what you're seeing. And, um, <laughs> you talk about me. Ah, that's so funny. <laughs> um, so let's, let's see. 
All right, let me open the whole, it's, it's big guys, it's big. Hold on, hold on. All right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, here's what we have. So it's, it's large, I mean, you know, it's big, right? So we've got a rose here and a rose here. Hopefully you can see my hands, got our roses. And then, but I'm thinking, you know, this part should be used as the cover because this sticks up and, um, you know, I don't know, there's that. So, but when we flip it over, we have this side and it's the same exact color. It's just smooth and I'm thinking um, that this could be the inside of the cover. So the other side is the outside of the cover. This is the inside of the cover. So if that's the case, and this is our last page, let's look at our options. <laughs> so we have, um, we don't even need this right now, actually. Let me move this out of the way. We have this as an option. Let's see if I hid any other options. Yep, we got this one. We have this one. Okay, let me grab some other stuff. Oh, no, 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 I, okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me just show you the, mu here's the music paper. Okay, but wait, guys, I mean, it has to be that, it ha right? I mean, right? Um, yeah, the rose is gorgeous, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, Tina, be right back. Okay, hon. <laughs> so, guys, I'm thinking this naturally has to be the one we choose. Uh, it, it just, it has to. So, sorry, I made that decision <laughs> for you. Um, but, right, I think it's the right decision. I mean, yeah. So, let's move our fabric out of the way. It is gorgeous, right? I mean to tell you. Um, oh, Beauty and the Beast was the first one you watched with your daughter when she was four. That is so sweet. I love that. Ah, okay, you know, I, of course, watched all of the princess movies with my daughter, but I, I don't know which one was the first, to be honest with you. I could not tell you. All right, um, we're gonna cut that to size and get that on there, and then our base pages will be done, yay! And then we can start with the fun stuff. Um, so let me just check it here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a little sliver off, and... I'm gonna have to, I think I'll cut the top off, okay. So, oops, there we go with our handy dandy. You balled through it, aww. Oh yes, Snowbell would love that fabric for a bit. <laughs> that is hilarious, Carol. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness, sweet, sweet Snowbell, oh man. She is funny. Yeah, she would love it. So, so, um, Caroline, I wonder, did your daughter, did she cry or like, did she not really kind of know what was going on or like, I wonder what her, her feelings were. Okay. Let me trim. I know I have to trim a little edge actually. So since this is kind of what I'd call the bad edge, just because half of the, you know, outfits are missing, let's remove it from there. go okay oh she's watching with you that is so wonderful Carol I'm so glad that you are both joining me <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> if your friend was on Cheryl she'd be saying the name of those treats that Snowbell loves so much and then Snowbell would be meowing at you to make you go get them <laughs> Oh man, oh she was too young, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay, I gotta move this light a little bit. It's just so shadowy, geez. Well, still, it didn't really help at all, but whatever. Okay. Sorry about the quiet time. Apparently I'm focusing really hard on the glue. <laughs> oh my gosh, focusing on the glue. All right, there we 
go. Should be enough to hold it on there pretty well. Now, I feel like this is upside down. What's going on? Wait, what's happening here? Why is this here? Hold on. See, guys, I'm always confusing myself. So, if... No. Mm -mm. Something's not right. Hold on a sec. Was this like this? We're doing the last page, right? So, if we're doing the last page... Why does this feel upside down to me? All right, hold on, everybody. My glue is not drying, don't worry. All right, am I, is this what I'm doing? No. I glued that one thing on upside down, I think. Is this what it was? You guys are gonna have to remind me. Um, let's find the other glue. Oh, that's so nice, Caroline, thank you. Aw. Um, guys. I'm in a predicament. What have I done? Okay, first signature's here. This is the second signature. Why do I feel like something's not right about this? Was it like this? Yes, okay, got it, got it. Okay, we're good. Just when I, um, I'm reading, I'm reading comments, guys. Oh, she really liked Disney movies. Oh, she was into horror movies. Oh my gosh, Mari. Oh my goodness. I would die if that had been the case because I have two boys also and a husband, obviously. And if my daughter, if that had been the case for my daughter, I just would have cried every day because thankfully I finally had someone in the house that liked girly things. So I'm glad that's how it was. That is so funny that your daughter liked the um, scary movies. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got my situation figured out, guys. I was panicked there for a second. But, you know. Okay, there we go. All better now. Okay. Now, I have a little room around each one of the edges, so I'm not as concerned about the glue. And then we will just handle that space with a little bit of inking when it's time for that phase. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. <laughs> Not sure if you guys can even tell. All right, we got, um, when I'm making journals, I find the glue wrinkles my paper. Could anyone, okay, yes, I could suggest something. The glue should not wrinkle your paper. It seems that when that happens, maybe you're using too much glue or you're using a glue that's too, it's got too much water in it. You need a, what I call a drier glue. Paper breath? What? It's just paper breath. What? <laughs> you know, what? is that a typo? <laughs> are, are my eyes going bad? So anyway, Colleen, yeah. Try to find a drier glue um, and see if that helps. And so I'm not sure what you use, but you can't use Elmer's glue. It will not, it, it, it's no good. It's, it's very wet glue. Um, do you, do you have this? Do you have Aileen's Tacky Glue or the Barely, Barely Art Glue or the Art Glitter Glue? I know all three of those are great. So maybe try, uh, one of those. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What is paper breath? <laughs> Dying over here. That's hysterical. Um, it may, is it code for something? <laughs> all right. So, um, here we go. This is ready, and that's our last page, right? Yeah. This goes in here, like that, and then, I hope I did it right, guys, and then this was here, and then this was the last page. Yeah, and then it butts up next to the fabric. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we got it. Okay, so guys, the basics are done and ready for pockets and um, belly bands and stuff like that. So, oh, take a breath, it's only paper. <laughs> yes, you're right, I was panicked and I shouldn't have been. So that's very funny. Um, you do have Aileen's. All right, so maybe uh, put it on a little bit thinner. And <laughs> Carolyn's laughing out loud, yes, yes, me too. Um, so maybe try using a lighter hand with it, like your bead, 
you know, your bead of glue, maybe have it be a little thinner um, is what I would suggest. And then the only other thing I can think of is I don't know what kind of paper stock you're using, but if it's like super, super thin, that could contribute to it as well. So those are my thoughts on glue. Our other friends here might have to give you their expertise on that, um, you know, in case there's anything else. All right, so we got this part done. Do we want to continue and do some pockets or are we done for the day? I'm happy to continue on a little longer. I'm getting hungry, but I'm not starving yet. So I could continue on and let me just look, see here. What I like to do guys, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but what I like to do is gather up the scraps that I created during the making of my pages. And so let's gather those. Um, okay, I think I have the scraps. And then what I like to do whoops, is go through the page and decide which ones I wanna use as pockets. So let's do that first. So like this, I have no scrap left. So we're skipping that page for now. And, oh, okay, so for example, if I was gonna do a pocket on this page, I would use this scrap. Now, I don't wanna cover the gorgeous image here, so I could use the scrap over here, or I could do a little pocket down on the bottom. That's not a bad idea. If I did a small pocket, then we would see most of him. Uh, pockets, okay, okay. Need to get a glass of wine. Yeah, yeah, go get a glass of wine. <laughs> so yes, let's do a pocket, and I think to coordinate the two pages, I will use part of this. I'm gonna cut in between these two stones here. And that'll be our first pocket. Now, guys, you know, I don't know how other people create, but typically what I'll do is I'll run through and put the majority of my pockets in, and then I go back and I embellish them. Occasionally, I'm so inspired by a page that I embellish the pocket right when I put it on. But that is not the typical rule for me. So I will usually do my pockets and then go back through and add the bling. So, hope that makes sense. So I tend to, when I'm gonna make a pocket, I tend to, you know, crease the corner. And I do that for two reasons. For one, in this one, it covers less of the image, which I love, even though a tag's gonna go in there and cover it, but you can move the tag out and see it. But I really do it because now I have two layers and it makes this really, really strong. So even with a tag going in and out or paper, whatever it is, this is gonna hold up over the course of time. So that's why I do that. And I always glue this part down. And then I double check which edges I'm gluing. Now, so I usually will either use my Aileen's here or I will sew the pockets in, and I love sewing my pockets in. But since I'm here at this table with you guys today, we'll be gluing them. Plus, you know, for this journal, I don't feel compelled to sew because it's just not that style to me in my mind. It's, it's not, I mean, it would be fine, but um, it's not something I feel like I have to do to add richness to it. I can do that in other ways. All right, so we got our first pocket. She's a plain Jane, but the <laughs> we're not done. So um, I am going to hold my corners down. I wish I had my third pin. I don't see a third one on my table because I'm really cleaning up, but I'll move this up to the top uh, later. I'm glad you like that idea, um, Colleen, yeah. So here, let's do a belly band here, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I might wanna do a fabric one here, so let's do fabric on a different day, right? I think so, because I don't have any of my fabrics in here. Let me, no, we're not gonna wanna do that. I could do a coordinating one, but then that's kinda plain. Yeah, let's save it for fabric. No, the only other choice is this one, hold on. 
What? No, I don't. I don't no, 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 no. I can't do that. Okay, so moving on. So we're going to do belly band here. Oh my gosh, is that pretty? Wow, I do love it. I'm going to move this up now before I get distracted. Okay. okay. So, um, let's do... Yeah, you love to sew in your journals? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's do, let's, let's see if we can do a full side pocket here. Um, so let's pick out what we might like to use to create that. I don't like that. Um, oh, give me opinions on this one. This is option one for, uh, it's basically going to be a pocket. So it's going to look, it's going to look, you know, like that is how that's going to look. I, I kind of like it. Let me know your thoughts and let me dig around. Let me see what our other options are. Uh, we do have the option of using a music page. This could like fold over so it's nice and thick and doubled so it would look it would look like this. A little bit busy, uh, but let me know. We'll just we'll keep that out just in case you like it. Um, da, da, da. I have, oh, the other option. Okay, so I feel like for, as far as making a pocket, option one, option two. Oh, you'd like to see some lace on this one. Oh, okay, and you like, okay. What if we do the music with lace? I like that because I, I love to layer like that. So let's do the music and then lace on top of it. Let's do that, okay. Let me move this out of the way so I can fold this into what it's going to be. And just make sure the size is right because I can make it smaller if I want to. So if I put it on like that, that's not bad. I mean, I could trim a little of that edge and make it a little smaller, but yeah, I'll trim it just a little bit, but otherwise I like it. Okay. All right. So music and lace. Oh, that's a very nice combo. All right, we are gonna move this out of the way. Okay. I'm just trimming this just to make the pocket not, you know, as big. Okay. So now, it'll be like this. Yeah, I like that size. I think I can move my paper clips now. I mean, clothespins. <laughs> okay. And I think I'm okay to use glue stick on this because it's not gonna come, you know, it's not gonna open up. You know what I mean? Like, it, there would be no way for it to open up. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh, it's just so messy, right? Okay. Oh, I was wondering what was in my way, and it's the other signature. It's just taking up space. Okay. There we go. So, uh, lace is another thing I don't have in this room, um, but, you know, with your permission, I could fly over to my other room and grab it, or we could, you know, save it and do the embellishing on another day. Okay, I'm going to fold this. Whoops. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Trying to see, and uh, <laughs> I got in my own way. Anyway, I was trying to fold this so I could cut it properly. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh oh, hold on. Sometimes when the glue is dry, it will not cut properly. So I'm going to have to fix this. 
Maybe I'm not going to have to fix it. Maybe I'm cutting it with my scissors. Okay. So let me fold it so I get the cut just perfect. All right. There we go. Gosh darn it. Okay. So I got a little piece that I tore here because my paper wasn't dry when I tried to, you know, slide it through the thing, the cutter. So, you know, don't do that. <laughs> so I'm going to glue the word great back down. Let's see if I can successfully do that. It's good enough because I can embellish that if I feel the need. You know, we can put a little something up there. Okay. All right. So now back to my Aileen's. I don't think I had enough glue in there the first time. Okay. I do really like this paper napkin, the way that page turned out. I think it turned out really pretty. All right, looking for my scrap paper so I can press. Here's one. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Get it around in my trash can. Here we go. Oops. Needs to be under this one. What am I thinking? All right. Okay. So really tempted to run over and grab some lace. So let me put my thinking cap on before I take the time to run over there because I want to make sure I grab the right one. Let me think, think, think. I got to think about my inventory and where it is because I do not want to waste any time. If my camera wasn't hooked up, I would bring you guys. Oh, I should bring you guys with me. I really should. Where do I buy my paper napkins, Jeffy? Okay. Um, I buy them at a lot of times um, the Tuesday store, um, Tuesday, what is it? Tuesday morning. Um, I've got quite a few from there because they have them on discount. I have found, actually, I've been lucky enough to find some at the thrift store. And um, where else? I've been gifted some. This one was gifted to me, actually. And I appreciate that so much because it's truly beautiful. So yeah, just, you know, if I see them on sale, I pick them up. That's just kind of the deal. All right, guys, where was this page? This was here. I think this was here, right? What was this? Wait, was this the first page? Oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna panic again, you guys. Hold. Oh, it was this one, <laughs> right? Wait, hold on. Let me go through this one. Let's look at the story. This is definitely page one. Uh, that's definitely the next. These I do recall went together. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, I did that twice. Does this go here or does this go here? <gasps> Guys, Guys, is this what it is? Guys, is this how it was? Please tell me. <laughs> I think, hmm. Is it? It sure looks good. Did I do this wrong? Okay, you guys are gonna have to tell me. Try to, yeah, Tuesday morning, try it out. They have, oh my gosh, they have the most beautiful, beautiful napkins there. I think this is how it was. Am I right, you guys? Did I put, did I slide this page back in the right? Why would I do two napkins in a row? I don't think I would do two in a row, guys. I don't think I would do two in a row. Mm -mm. I don't think I would. I think I would do this. And then, oh my gosh. That looks good. And then this is how we, guys, where did this come from? Was it over here? Let's find out, let's see. Let me move this one out of the way. This one's a troublemaker, let me just get it out of the way. I am dying over here not knowing where I, what page this was. 
Well, we had just started, right? So, mm, if we just started, we started with the first signature. Hold on, let me see if there's three pages in here. One, two, three. Okay, all of those are in there, right? Sorry, guys, patience, unless you have a member. Go back to the first page. Okay, that's what I thought, right? Okay, so here's the first page, and I know that this was our first one. And then we opened it up and we did the roses together. I remember that. Does the, oh, it was the stained glass next to each other. Even though that does look great, this is how it was, right? Okay. Wait, yes, because we did the coordinating pocket. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Got it. And then this, yes, and that's gorgeous. Okay, that's what we were doing. Okay. Do you guys see how I, I just, I get so stressed out and that's why I'm so, um, well, I'm not stressed out. That's, that's a strong word, but I'm so like, uh, particular about where I set these things. Cause I, I forget. All right. So we got that pocket pocket. Oh yeah. Let's definitely do. Okay. Let's talk about uh, a lace belly band here. Um, Oh, and then we were going to do lace here. Okay, guys, I'm running to the other room. I'm going to grab something because something's going to look good here. And while I'm there, I'll see if I can grab my box of lace. Okay, I'm going as quick as I can. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk about me. Make fun of me, please. Till you guys see what I have. <laughs> okay, so um, let's decide where to start now. I have to show you this gorgeous piece. My friend, our friend, so many of you know her, Tina McCall sent me this beautiful piece. I think this might deserve a place in Beauty and the Beast book, right? So, and then I have all of these. Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous, right? And then I have, you guys know I have a giant bolt of this, a, a giant bolt. And so um, we may use that. I have the, remember I showed this one. So I'm back, guys. I'm still buffering on my computer, but as long as my um, phone is working, then okay, that's good. Um, my, it's funny. So you can see me on my phone, but um, on my computer, I'm still seeing buffering. So I'm, I'm going to hit pause on my computer. Let me see. Let me see if that helps, guys. Wow, it's still buffering on my, but okay. So let me know, I'm gonna type in a message and actually, let me refresh my computer real quick. Let me just see if that's gonna help or not. No idea. Oh, okay, I think that's helping. Okay, I think that helped. Okay, um, all right. Okay, I think I'm back. Okay guys, so I want to show you what's in the box and Here's in the box. So I have all kinds of lovely things. And this was given to me, I made myself a note so I would never forget. My friend, Paper Kitty 99 I love her. And she, there's some ruffly things in here. 
So that's got that. And then I have some additional laces and a variety of colors. So let's get to choosing the lace for the music page, right? And then let me, guys, let me know if you can hear me and if everything seems normal to you again. I know it, you said it before, but just, just want to make sure, just because my computer only just now stopped buffering. So, all right, let me get these out of the way. We have these too. It's a nice variety. Let's take a look, see here. Everything's good. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we got, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, these are quite long here. Okay, so we have like a minty color, and then we have stripes, and then we have, um, this one has like a little purple roses, and then this one is like kind of a neutral color, and then this one is super pretty and kind of floral, and then this one is red and blue, and then, of course, we have this total gorgeousness, which, oh my gosh. And so, okay, let me get these out of the way. Okay. So, when we're talking about lace, are we, let's, well, let's put the page together like it would be. So, let me get this out of the way. All right, this is what we're talking about. All right, so we have purples on this page and we have kind of neutrals. So let me pull, let's see, where's that? Oh, here it is, okay. All right guys, sorry, I'm trying to grab some lace that we can try on for size. We could try some of this. Um, we also have, like this can be cut and like laying flat. Okay, I'm glad I sound good, thank you, thank you. Seems back to normal. Good. Whew, close one. <laughs> um, that kind of looks good flat. So let's leave that out. We'll play with that. Uh, let's see what color purple. Kind of purpley. We have. No, no, no. Um, we have. This is kind of purple. Let me move this out of the way and see if that even makes any sense. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, let me cut, uh, let me cut, what are we cutting? Let's see, let me just make sure, no. Okay, let's open this up. So I paid 39 cents for all of this lace. How good is that, right guys? The thrift store, I go to several, but the one that I get so much of my stuff, oh my goodness, I have so much luck there. But as I told my friend Carol, I am on a thrifty diet, so I'm going to be uh, not going to the thrift store, right? I have to use my stash and share it, so that's the plan. All right, so friends, let's talk about our decision. Uh, our decision... Can I try the first one I showed? I can, but now I have to remember which one that was. So we're going to, I'm gonna just cut this to size and we're gonna try that. This might be the first one, I have no idea. All right, let's try, get this out of the way. Hold on one sec, let me make sure everything is the way it would be, okay. Okay. So I did that just because we know that this page is going to stick out beyond this page, and I just wanted to be able to see that. All right, here is the white one. If we put this one on the edge, it's going to look like this. I can move it in if we want, but basically that's how that's going to look. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Okay, then, so that's the first one. Right, and that looks very lovely. Then we have a flat one that we could put on. Uh, there's a little space at the top and bottom, but we could fix that with uh, ribbon, satin ribbon. So that's kind of what that would look like. I think that's kind of neat. I think it's kind of neat. Then the one with the ribbon in the middle, the one with the ribbon in the, oh, this one, the one that I have a ton of. This one? Okay. 
So here it is. Oh man. So this is kind of a minty green, just, just so you know, let me move this out of the way because that's kind of how the spread will look. It'll look like this. You'll, oh, you can't even see the whole thing. Hold on. Let me move it over. Okay, now you could probably see it a little bit better. Sorry about that. So this is the one with the ribbon in the middle, but it's, it's kind of a minty green. It's not so purpley, so I don't know if I love it. You guys will have to tell me what you think. And then I think this is gonna be better for a different page, but look at the, oh gosh, look at the deliciousness of it. <laughs> oh, it's just delicious. But the colors aren't right for this page, so let's ignore that. Um, then we have the flat purple one. Um, let me, I don't wanna fold it over because I, you know, you can see the music paper peeking through, so it would kind of look like this. That's probably the best that I can do. For that and it could be as little or as much of it as we want so that kind of looks nice because the color matches this so that's an option let me get that out of the way let me see if i have any other options uh we have this but i don't know no i, I don't i don't think i like that um don't think I'm gonna like this either. It's just not the vibe. No, 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 no. So let me see if any of these ruffles would work. This one's kind of big, but yeah, it's too big, right? Although I could trim the edge. There's nothing to say that I can't trim it. You know, so that's pretty. So loving the purple and the white. Okay, so let's go back to those. Here's the purple, right? So I would probably do it something like that so that the paper shows. That's kind of the best way I can think to show that to you. I do like that. And then we have, were you talking about this white one that, um, you know, goes like this? Let me see if I can do this without my hands in the way. My, you know, it kind of look like this. And then if we really wanted to, let's try this on for size. Let's do... Let me move this over a little so I have some space. Let's pretend that we had the purple on to about there. And then, so you have to ignore this part, sorry. <laughs> you have to ignore it. And then we had this on the edge. What do we think? I'm trying to cover this so that you don't see the rest of the purple, but what do you think of that? You guys like that? Let me read, um, loving the purple and the white, okay. Purple lace, like the flat white edge. Oh, the flat white edge with, with the satin ribbon, you do, okay. The flat white edge with satin ribbon, okay. So, so this is an option and then it was, let me, let me experiment. So this is gonna be experiment number one and then let me see about, that. Okay. I'm looking back at it on camera, you guys, so I can see what you're seeing. And it's, sorry, there was a pause there because that's what I was doing. Uh, and then there was a white flat one. Here's the white flat one. Let me, let me play with this for, hold on. Let me play with this for one second. Let's pretend we did the purple flat one and then the white flat one over it. And then we'd have to line it with like some satin ribbon. Whoops. Sorry, you can't get a good view of it if I'm <laughs> pulling it off by accident. Okay, so that looks nice too, I think. So, oh, Mari said something, hold on. Hold on. Like the purple, it brings out, yeah, I agree, I agree, totally, totally, totally. It does bring it out. So, um, do we wanna layer it with another or like this flat or like this, or just put the purple on and then do like a satin ribbon down it, which I would do later. Um, do you guys like this one? All right, so because there's a lag, I'll need to know, let's pretend this is option number one, and let me know if you like option number one. Oops, 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 <laughs> caught to my nail. Okay, this could be option number two. You know, something like that. I could even do less of it, like just right on the edge. Or, let me see, I have smaller. 
white lace if we like it. Flat white number two. Okay. Okay, so you like the flat. Okay, the flat and the flat. Okay, okay. All right, let's do, let's do that. All right, so let me cut this. Oh, now I have a real pile of stuff on my table. You know what? I wonder if I, hold, I'm going to make a quick adjustment to my camera here. I wonder if it's, uh, it's really kind of messing with looking at one side of the table. Is that better? Hold on. Let's see if I can lift it up. Okay. Um, hopefully that's a little better, guys. I don't know. I think that's a little better. I feel like maybe as we've been hanging out, it's maybe shifted a little bit. All right. I want to make sure that I cut this. I can trim that once it's on. All right, so I'm just gonna leave a little and I'll trim it once it's on. So I'll just leave a little extra. Oh, and I think I might've been showing it to you upside down. No, I wasn't, okay. And then, let me see. I'm gonna cut it right about here. So that is along these three dotted lines, okay. I can always leave some hanging over if that's what we like, and then, you know, trim it later. And uh, my apologies, I grabbed my dull scissors. <laughs> so I'm like doing a hack job over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, okay. Now, oh, lovely. I did not bring my fabric tack over because I didn't think I'd be working with my fabrics. So what I'll do is I'll just, this will be a temporary glue down and then I'll go back, lift the lace and add the fabric tack to it. This will just be temporary, like I said. There we go. But I think I like that. Hopefully that'll hold it for a little while, just until I can, you know, once we're done, then I'll hit it with the fabric tack. That and then we were going to do the flat lace. Oh, good. You like the camera. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm thinking we want, we do want a lot of the purple to show. So I'll go right, I'll cut right beyond the edge of like this little swirly right here. So that's what we'll do. And am I showing that upside down? Oh, I was. So here it is right side up. Yeah, that's super pretty. Okay. And still the same position. All right. So I'll just cut I'll go a little wider with it, but when I place it down, I will place it properly. I really should sharpen these scissors. Okay. So I wonder... Hey, so who's over there? Hey, Andrew. Andrew, are you available? I don't know if he knows what Fabri-Tac is. This is going to be a hot mess if I keep trying to do this. Nope, I don't hear Andrew. I, don't, I think I screamed for no reason at all. Okay, so. Let's see. I think that's where I want it. Yeah, I think that looks nice. It only has to hold it for just a little while. <laughs> There we go. All right. Uh, what do you guys? Well, let me trim it, and then we'll then we'll decide what we think, right? Okay. Oh, it's going to be so frustrating with my dull scissors. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So if you hear some noise in the background. My son, Brandon, is redoing the boys' room. And I believe what we're hearing is him taking the trim off of the walls. 
If it's not that, I don't know what it is. It kind of sounds like bubble wrap, but I don't think that's what it is. Okay, so now let's put this on here and we will put this back on and we will do this. There we go, I think. Yes, there we go. There we go. And I'll just do some lace down here. Hi, Amanda. Amanda just came home from Tampa. She's been gone. Ah, hey, sweetheart. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Good. We will get caught up shortly. All right, so that's how that's going to lay. And when we go down for, you know, when we get into the real details on another video, we will um, probably do some lace right here, just some nice satiny lace. Oh, I think it's so pretty. Do you guys like it? Oh my goodness, I like it, I like it. Okay, so, um, you know, we could do a pocket here, right? Yeah, there's plenty of room for a pocket. Let's do a pocket there. Let's find, um, you know what I should do? is we are gonna do a pocket there, but not today, because what I'd like to do is grab some purple paper, purple paper, and do it with purple paper. And um, I didn't bring any of that over, so we're gonna skip this for now. We'll do that on, I usually go through my journal several times before, um, you know, before I'm even ready to do super duper embellishments. So yeah, I love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you guys love it too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we will remember that we're going to do a purple pocket. And we're going to do it like this, right? That's how we're going to do that one. Okay. Now we have, you know what I was thinking? Um, let's do on this one, let's do some, and I'll get your thoughts. Let's grab some pink and silver coffee dye and we'll do like a, um, you know, like a paper flip, and that we could even turn it into a fabric flip if we wanted to. So this is pretty light pink, and I will cut it to be smaller so that we can see the pattern. But what do you guys think? You know, because we want to have some writing space. So that's what I think we're going to do here. Let me grab my paper cutter that's getting um, more and more <laughs> covered by all my goodies. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on. We have two choices, and I think we might end up with this one because it's a little bit, it does look nice, right? Do you guys like it a little bit more? Let me move the lighting real quick. Um, so I just turned the lighting away so that you could see. I don't know if that, no, that's not really helpful. I, my apologies. <laughs> so back to looking at it with light. Um, anyway, that's an option. And then the softer pink is an option. What do you guys think? Here, I'll put them side by side and try to move this over here. And the camera is definitely kind of whitewashed everything a little bit. Uh, this pink is a little bit more intense than what you see, although not intense, just more, a little more than what you see. And as is this, and even this, this does have pink in it and on camera it's not showing pink. So let me know, dark pink, or light pink? What do you guys think is better? And then we will cut that to size, get that glued on there, and then when we go back to embellish later on a different day, we'll put satin strand across the top or something decorative, obviously. Uh, number one, okay, so this was number one. Okay, good. All right, so I like to, when I do these, I like to do two layers of paper. So I'm just gonna cut this off of here and then that'll give us our two layers, and then we're gonna take some length off too. I never measure this out too much. I kinda of just go with where my gut tells me to cut it, and uh, it usually works out pretty good. All right, so now we have two pages, and they are the exact same size because of the way that I did that. And this is how they will look glued on. And then of course we'll embellish the top, but I like it. I like the sizing. I think that's gonna work. So, go ahead and grab our glue. Oops, I'm like tossing it around. Okay. Oh, that looks good around the edge. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna use that as the top one. And it's oh, really pretty. 
I don't know if I want to use the more plain side or the side with all the silver stuff on it. We'll go with the silver. Okay. When I'm done with this, I will uh, check comments real quick, make sure I'm not missing any questions or anything like that. I do tend to get quiet when I glue, right? I get really quiet and focused when I'm, I'm gluing. I guess, uh, you know, glue, gosh, you can make such a mess with it. So I think that's why I focus so intently on it. All right, let me get my handy dandy scrap sheets here. All right, okay, checking comments. Oh my gosh, Mari, thank you so much. I'm so glad, I'm, I'm just, that makes me so, so very happy to, to hear that. That's, that's wonderful. I'm just so glad you've been here today and you know, picking up some tips and all that good stuff. Makes me feel really good. Makes it all worth it. You know, makes it worth the time and the effort, you know? So, all right, so that's how that's gonna look. We will go back and embellish that later. That'll be on another day. Like I said, oh, I do think that looks really pretty though. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, oh, okay, so here we are at another of the flowers. So since we did a side pocket on this one, we will have to do something different on this one. So what do you think, guys? We could do um, another paper like this or we could do a belly band, that might look nice, or we could do a pocket across the bottom. Kind of tempted to do like a belly band, uh, but maybe use, let's try on, let's get this light back over here. Let's try on a couple of these. Is this too much of a different style? Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't work, okay. Um, so we tried that. Here's a small, this is too small. Well, we could put that on top of uh, paper as uh, the first layer of embellishment because you know, these blues are pretty good together. Let's keep this one aside, let you guys take a vote on that. Uh, this one I think is gonna be too big, although I could trim it. Not a bad choice, honestly. Gosh, yeah, mm, that looks pretty. I could trim both sides. That's pretty, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit big, but like I said, we can work on that. Uh -uh. Uh, we've got a minty green one here. Let's just try that on for size. That's not bad. Oops, let me just, so you can see the picture over here. Uh, we probably should be leaning into some of these colors to kind of draw them over. Let me see if I have anything like that. This could be a time for this one. It's maybe, gosh, that does look pretty, but it doesn't pull in any of these colors. That is pretty though. Whew. Um, let me see. What do you guys think, a belly band? Um, I think maybe, yes. And then um, over top of it, we have this gorgeousness. Oh, that's pretty, guys. Uh, yeah, all right, so real tempted to do this one. Then under it, though, we obviously have to have, uh, you know, something to create the actual belly band. And I'm thinking music paper because, you know, I really liked the way it looked on the other page, but let's try it on for size before we commit to that. Yes, belly band, okay. And then let's pretend, oh God, I hate to fold this into little tiny pieces, but Let's pretend this is a belly band made with music sheet. Gosh darn it, hold on, let me roll it, let me roll it. That way I'm not putting a crease in it. Be right back. You're gonna have to use your imaginations, everyone. All right, so pretending this is a flat 
belly band, right? Just pretending here. And then we are putting the white lace over top. Thoughts, anyone? I'm going to peek around, see what else I have while you guys are staring at that. Um, okay, hold your horses. This is kind of, oh, that's nice though. Jeez, this is kind of rich, guys. But let's try that on a layer over top of the lace. Sorry, let me get that out of the way. And then you can see how this works with that. Uh, what do we think about that, guys? It, this is not flat. I know it's hard, but just use your imagination. Pretend that that's what we're looking at. So that's an option. If we <clears throat> didn't like the cord, we could go over it with this with just a little bit of the lace sticking out from underneath and on the ends, obviously. So I don't know if you like that. Let me see what else I got. Oh, huh. jeez. Hold on, everyone. Hold your horses. Uh, let's just try something completely different. See if it even works. It might. If this, hold on, I just covered one of my lights. Sorry about that. What about this? Oh my gosh, yeah, right. So what about that? Uh, and then down the center could be satin, and then over top of the satin could be rhinestones or something like that. What do you think? I think I like it. I'm gonna wait for you guys to tell me if you like that or the music sheet one. And then while you're thinking about that, while I'm waiting, I will grab a piece of paper and start making the actual belly band. You like that? You like the purple? Gotta say purple, Tina. <laughs> so I know. Um, and so I think I'll make the base of it with the music paper, even if we use the purple. Love it. Okay. Love the dirt. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to um, cut this paper here so that I can fold it into thirds and get a nice strong base for the belly band. I think that's big enough to fold it into thirds. Guys, I have so many materials I could use, but I'm using what I literally brought to my table. So, um, oh, and we could even, not that we'd see it right, but we could fold this in such a way that if you moved this, you could see the look of love. And it is a love story, right? So let me, I'll try, I'll try to keep that uh, you know, visible somewhat. All right. Okay. Now let's see. Do we like, do we like it like that? Or would we rather see the music? I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm committing. I'm committing to it. That's what we're doing. I'm committing to it. Man, what a skinny little belly band this is. That's okay, Dad. Is it tall enough? It is. Okay, good. <clears throat> so, do that and then, oh, wrong side. That. And yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. Okay, yeah, the music and the purple, purple ruffle. Yes, we, that's what we are going for. All right. We're just going to go, yeah. Have you got Guinness Book monitoring on this? <laughs> so, Carl wants to know if I'm doing Guinness Book World of Records for a live, but I will have you all know, I've seen lives that are like six hours long, like they are crazy long. I just painted a car and you're still doing it. <laughs> he said he's done painting the car. <laughs> and you're still doing it. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. All right. And actually, guys, let me make sure I get the edge of this paper real good. Whoops, I think I almost got some on that napkin. I hope I didn't. I'll check it. I will check it. Let's make sure. Okay, we're good.
Hey, sweetie, will you shut that door? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's getting ready to make himself some dinner, so he's getting ready to make a racket in there. Okay, so let's trim the top before we glue it on. There we go. We are not using our paper cutter like, you know, I tried last time because we know this glue is not dry. There we go. All right. Should fit. Yep, very nice. Oh my gosh, you watched a seven hour live? That's incredible. Wow. See, Carl, somebody did a seven hour live. You gotta be approaching that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hard time. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's get this belly band on. Trying to make sure my pages my pages are straight so that I know that I have my belly band on straight. All right, now that's cool that you were crafting and, and uh, listening and, and doing all that. I, uh, I enjoy doing that while I'm crafting, Colleen. I like to have my videos on and, you know, watch and listen and all that while I'm working too. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and trim it. And I'll trim it to absolute size once I have it on there. I just don't, I don't wanna worry about getting a perfect cut right this second. And then um, in the, you know, when we move on to embellishing, that's when we'll dress this up. Oh gosh, that does look good, wow. That is really fantastic. Oh my gosh, I don't have my Fabri-Tac. Hey Carl, do you know what Fabri-Tac is? Over there on my craft table, it's a bottle of glue and it has a funny silver thing sticking out the top, a silver circle. <laughs> yeah, the fabri -Tac. Yeah, the fabri yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, yes, it is like listening to a podcast. I agree. Yeah. We use the glue in headliners and cars. Oh, do you really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carl tried to tell me he uses this on cars, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and he said, no, he's just kidding. All right, well, at least we have the Fabri-Tac. So, guys, check this out. i got to show this to you. So, you see this thing right here? So, uh, my friend Tina, my Florida Tina, uh, she gave me a bunch of these. And what they are is you uh, make them... You stick them in something, but they hold pictures or place cards for at a dinner table. Well, they fit perfectly in my bottle. So I use it so that my bottle, my Fabri-Tac bottle doesn't get clogged. Um, thank you, Mari. You are awesome. You gave me some really wonderful opinions and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day too. So good to have you here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this on. Now, um, I should have let it drip to the bottom before I was you know, ready to start, but I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I could go back too and um, glue that lace. Remember that lace we put down? I didn't have my Fabri-Tac. Before I press that down, I want to get these in place because I left my material a little bit longer, you know. So, all right, now I feel safe. So I can put that where I want it. Sorry again about the shadows, but that's my life right now. All right, now it's wet, so I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but it is down. I'm using my scissors so it doesn't stick to my hand because I can just easily wipe my scissors off, right? Um, yeah, the card holder, it's great, it's been great. I've been using it for like a few months now and it's awesome. Hi, Butterfly Crafter, okay. Um, remind me of your name. Um, 
It is. <laughs> it's Dana? No, you're gonna have to remind me. Dana, the butterfly crafter, I think maybe. Anyway, remind us. Hi, thank you for being here. All right, so guys, we got this on. So I'm, I'm thinking we definitely could do a pocket here, but because it's with the purple, um, I think we'll wait and I'll grab some, you know, purple paper. I just did not even think to grab anything purple. Unless we use, let me grab my scraps here and check them out. That's a scrap. No, I don't like that. Uh, we have this. Oh, it doesn't have any purple in it, guys, but it sure is cute. Um, Dana. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I had it. I had it. Yes. Um, guys, tell me what you think think of using this as a pocket. I think it's pretty cute. It doesn't have purple, but I could certainly embellish it with purple. So tell me about your thoughts on that. And otherwise, we just wait for purple paper day when we when we get there. Uh, we have this, but no. So we're back to that. We also have... It's your bed. Good night, Carol. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have to have dinner soon, so I won't be on too, too much longer. So, but thank you, Carol, for spending time and helping me build this journal. I really, I really appreciate it. I hope you sleep well, and I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. So guys, thinking about this and think, no, I don't like that. So it's either this or we're going to wait for purple. So let me know when you are done saying goodnight to Carol, if you guys like this or if we should wait for a purple thing. <laughs> All right, and while I'm waiting on you guys to say yay or nay on this, I'm going to check on the next page to see what's coming up. Oh, it's the center, okay. All right, all right, so before we get to, you know what, that's what we'll do, we'll do, we'll decide on this, and then we'll decide on the center, and then that'll be it for today. Um, what do you guys think of that? I think it's so cute. I think if I do this and I ink it with purple, and I add some, you know, purple embellishment, I think that would work out good. Maybe something lavender, yeah, you know, um, I've got this lavender lace that we just used, and I could put that over something and have, have like a lace pocket, you know, but obviously it would have to go over top of something. Let me try on, let me try this. So if we had, let me just do it like this so it's easier. If we had the pink paper, but with the, the lavender over top, what do you think of that? Because, you know, there is some pink in here. I think I could probably do that. Okay, you like it, okay. So let's do that. I will cut this to size. See how we want it. I think I have enough to go all the way across. I do. Okay, so plenty of that. I'm going to do it right about there. Let me get my cutter. Okay. Is that where I folded it? Yeah. Carl, I'll be wrapping this up shortly, um, and then you can have the TV blasting loudly. <laughs> All right, so friends, I'm gonna fold this over, and then I'm gonna fold it over like this, like I always do. We'll check that size before we commit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then if I do it like that, Here's our purple. Mm, I might not want to fold that corner if I'm going to do the purple. Yeah, maybe I just want the top folded the way I did it. Yeah, and then maybe let me fold it down a little deeper too. Okay, let me try that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go over the top with like dark purple um, on another day when we get into those intense embellishments. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do that. I didn't get glue on that page. I don't think I did. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's 
let's do, uh, we're gonna leave this edge open, but we're gonna glue down these two, but we'll leave this open so it's got like room when you're putting the tag in that it can move around a little bit. And now that I have my handy dandy Fabri-Tac, we'll be able to put this lavender lace over top. And that will be gorgeous. And I'm thinking what I might do, hmm, I was thinking, do we want the scallops up or do we want the scallops down? Guys, I kind of like the scallops up. Look at that. Yeah. I think we're doing that. Okay, now I am gonna have to trim this size on this edge here. Hopefully I can do it pretty straight. Actually, let me fold it and that way I have to probably, you know, stay straighter. Let's try it guys, here we go, it's all or nothing. But we can trim it out with some uh, satin ribbon even if I didn't get it, you know, perfect. Okay, all right, and then I can trim this once it's dry. All right, let's do that. I'm hoping to do this quick enough so that the Fabri-Tac doesn't seep through and get on the page. I think I can. We'll see. And then I'll put the rest over here. And then I'll just kind of swirl it around. I'll go around the edges. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, now let's get that on there. Okay, now I have a little bit of lace hanging over, so I'm going to get my little protectors here. There we go. All right. Now let me just kind of move this into place. Yes, very good. I love it. I love it, guys. It's so pretty. Guys, that's going to be it. Carl is ready to watch some TV. My stomach is hungry. So I think we did an awesome job today. This was amazing having you guys like build this book with me. Just absolutely loved having you here. And oh, bye, Tina. And um, bye, friends. Oh, Carl says bye, friends. <laughs> Tina, I'll be over for dinner shortly. <laughs> So, okay, guys, thank you so much. We will do this again, I promise. And as always, thanks for watching. See you soon.